Hello, hello. And um, we are back for more Desert Death World. 50 hours in this world already. <clears throat> Alright, so we were doing what exactly? We were uh, leaving the rocket and for today. So today we're going to launch the rocket and probably start a little bit of the uh, space sciencing. So we are going to do this research and we're going to do this research. Hmm. And we're going to slowly prepare to launch the first couple of rockets. The first uh, research that I'm going to actually do is going to be uh, wait, which one is it going to be actually? Hmm. Uh, stronger explosives, yes, for wait, what? Yes? No? Maybe? Who knows? Um... This one is good for the spidertrons uh, to kill the biters quicker. Hmm. And then physical projectile damage for the uranium ammo. Uh, those two, and then the artillery range. I want all of it. <coughs> We'll see, we'll see. Let's start with researching the rocket silo itself, making the rocket silo, making sure that the rockets are being sent. I'm coming here for refilling uh, the rockets, right? Which are somewhere around... Where is everything in my factory? Oh, over here. <clears throat> Alright, so we have the beacons. Uh, but I'm not having a lot of speed modules. Um, I guess we're not like really mega basing yet. The first couple of researches that can be done like with the current setup, right? They are not that expensive. It's just like a thousand here, same as the current rocket research already. So yeah, I will not start making a big base yet. <clears throat> we should just start with doing this science. Um, let's take a look at the sciences. Um... <clears throat> and then we'll want to clear this and make one more artillery. For now, should be good enough. <clears throat> uh, yeah, this is this is being done really quickly. Let's uh, just see what do I need to make the rocket. Steel processing units, electric engine units, pipe, concrete. Those are the things. 
Then for the rocket part, we need rocket control unit, low density, and the rocket fuel. Rocket fuel is the thing that I'm not making right now. So I should, uh, I should do that. I should do that. Um, hmm. Um, the rocket control units, I'm pretty sure I don't need any more of that. The low density structures, maybe I don't need more of that. Let's just have, uh, two of these so that I have the 1000 that we want here Skype, good morning. Morning, everyone. <clears throat> um, yeah, so this is going to give me all the low density structures, all the rocket control units, and then we need to work on the um, rocket fuel. Let's do that. Let's do that. Um, a rocket fuel. I guess I will just have. What does uh, cold liquefaction do, by the way? It gives me. Converts coal into heavy and light oil, yes, and petroleum too. Uh, I have more oil though. I think I will just do it using normal oil without the liquefaction right now hmm. so i'm just going to make a separate station that is just doing the um, this thing all that it needs to take is the oil so it shouldn't be um, a big of a problem um right right so uh, basically similar as what i have over here already literally the same thing is going to be somewhere Let's make it, let's make it over here, for example. It really doesn't matter where it is. Martin Luther, good morning. Uh, yeah, I will do this and then I will have another offshore pump. This is not too far, so we'll just make the pipe go there. It's fine. Uh, I need the water around here. This is the water. Okay, the water is going to be done like that, no problem. <clears throat> um, maybe a good idea will be to protect this on the bottom side too. Here, let's protect it here to um should be good power 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 or power okay and then this needs to also get the water from somewhere. Uh, not the water, the oil. So the oil, I have this. I'm in that way. Actually, why don't I just like connect that oil over here? The same one. Uh, I mean, let's just do a, another station 
It doesn't. It's fine. I can do it directly over here. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. It's going to be oil, 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 oil. over here. Uh, this is crude oil unload. And then. So for the crude oil, I'm not doing the. Uh, Uh, the limits or anything, but I think it should be fine. Uh, but I will have one more train because I think I only have one oil train. Yes, do another one. another one right over here and I also have the uh, the train you'll hear that go there go there power power <clears throat> okay So this is going to convert it all into the petroleum, right? Uh, wait, actually, I don't, I don't even want here the light oil into petroleum. The light oil, if I have too much of that, should be converted into the um, the solid fuel, and then any excess uh, petroleum that I'm having here is going to be converted to the solid fuel too. So I don't want the crackers, because, uh, yeah, I'm going to prefer the light oil. No, hold on, I'm going to prefer petroleum. Um, for the rocket fuel. Okay, yeah, this can be deleted. Uh, sure. Russia, 1992. Hello, hello. Thank you for the follow. You can control what you have access with tank circuits. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I'm doing that already in other places but for this station i'm just going to convert all the oil into the rocket fuel that's the only purpose of this station and the only purpose of this i don't i don't want to like have petroleum here everything needs to go towards the solid fuel there uh, but i'm doing that like over here for example if i have too much lubricant only then i'm going to crack the heavy oil into light oil and like Similarly, the light oil has been cracked, only if I have too much of that here, yeah, but like, for this station, I'm just not going to care. <clears throat> okay, I think the first upgrade is going to be for, <laughs> for the damage, maybe, so that I can kill these uh, biters faster, so that they don't have the chance to spit on me. I mean, these are huge attack groups after the artillery is shooting. Follow the red Reddit thread and found a 1.8 million viewers YouTube video about death world rampant armored biters battle this popular thing.
Uh, yeah, it is. Deathful Driver Diamond Riders is a popular thing, I think, yeah. It's true. Oh shit, the rocket is already researched. I'm so slow. Let's speed it up. This one, automatic. Um, Alright, I'm going to have the oil here. Uh, and I'm going to have the, let's, um, let's make sure that I, uh, that I'm making the rocket silo, right? We'll do something like this, uh, rocket silo, do this, 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 that, uh, do it over here. Yeah, let's do it like over here. Doesn't matter. Rocket silo make how many of these? Uh, ten rocket silos. Nah, let's do that. Just one rocket silo should be enough for me. It looks like I have everything. This looks like I do have everything for it already. It's just going to be crafted. No problem. Um, and then I need to work on the rocket fuel. Rocket fuel. Rocket fuel. 30 seconds crafting time in assembly machine. Assembly machine. Um, with the rocket fuel. Here, we need solid and light oil. Um, so, how much do I want here? Like, I mean. How much do I want here? How much am I? Did I copy here? I did uh, ten refineries, which is going to be giving me uh, ninety, about a hundred light oil, about a hundred light oil, which means that I can do like ten rocket fuel a second, maybe. Sure. A hundred light oil plus hundred petroleum too. And petroleum is going to be converted into into five of these. Um, yeah, sure. The only thing is that I don't want to place uh, three hundred. Assembling machines. Um, um, uh, house bike. Uh, so we're gonna use beacons. Let's do beacons. So if I do, hold on, hold on, hold on. So we do light oil. Let me see. Um, request a speed module one fifty of those. So on this, on that, hmm. and then we want. This and then one at something you want advice, you can give me any advice you want, but uh, I also am warning you that I'm that I really like to ignore other people's advices. Uh, I'm thinking, yes, what, what's, what's the range of this thing? One, two. The range is this, okay. If I do that... Oh wait, hold on. Hold on. Uh, 
Uh, I can do it on the inside instead then. You want to prod in that? Do I? I think I want... I mean, I put the efficiency here because, like, that's what I do. I do this and then I do that, basically. You know? Uh, I just put some modules in there and then I upgrade it. Uh, never mind the efficiency that I'm putting here for now. These beacons win an offset. Mm -hmm. I have a line of beacons here. Everyone is going to be uh, covered by three beacons. If I do uh, an offset of the beacons though, like this. One, two, three. Four. Then it's going to be covered by four. That's what you mean by uh, offset. And uh... and then, but oh, there's a lot of people. <laughs> no, I don't. I'm not bothered really. Uh, and by that, let's see. If these are going to be working, the only thing is, I need to put this even further out then, I guess, I mean, it's going to be reachable, uh, still, it's fine, it's fine. Pim, 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 pim. Uh, one, two, three. Let's see. So this guy is being covered by one, two, three, four. The speed is 1.5. Because of that. Um, this is speed one modules. Uh, so plus 20%, 20, 20, 20, 20, plus 80%. Wait, shouldn't it be plus 80%? No, plus 80, but divide by 2 because the distribution efficiency is 0 0.5. Doesn't it mean that it should be plus 40 percent why does it say plus 20 uh because productivity lowers the speed okay makes sense makes sense makes sense so uh and then the uh, efficiency the speed three is going to be plus 50 percent instead of plus 20 percent instead of 80 is it going to be 200 like two and a half times faster than that Something like 3.5 is going to be the speed then. I can also make the modules on the other side then. I think. Whatever, whatever. I don't even want to think about it too much actually. Uh, better off with efficiency module and low pollution. Yeah. It's not going to be the final build yet anyway for this thing. Uh, so technically I like, I don't, I don't really care here. Um, but 
But, even though I don't really care... Um, we can do this. So I want the uh, solid fuel, and then I want the rocket fuel to put away like that. Uh, all right, copy. All right. I don't know how much I will need here. Uh, I'm too lazy to calculate actually, and I don't think it's going to matter. Let's do this, uh, and maybe I will like do more. Uh, the solid fuel is going to come from this side into somewhere like from this side, yeah, here and here. That's what we're going to do. Uh, put some lamps in this thing too. Alright, and then I need uh, to do this solid fuel. Solid fuel is done in a chemical plant. Uh, we do some from petroleum. And we do some from the uh, light oil. Um, 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 um. Productivity modules. Like that. Sure. This is just petroleum. Yeah. I'm going to have the petroleum pipe. Um, let's delete these things, get these things, um, have that over here, a little bit offset. Boom, 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 boom. This, like that, um, and then I'm just going to do this, 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 and that, that, that. This is all I need. Copy this thing. Somewhere around here. -da -da. Um, and I'm going to connect this here. 
Uh, from the both sides. Yeah, sure. Let's ju just do this. Uh, that's the solid fuel. And that we will want the solid fuel from the... Uh, Uh, why does it not work yet, by the way? It says food ingredient shortage, the water. Did I not connect the water? I thought I did connect the water. The water is here. And this water should go over there. Oh, but I did not finish this connection, I guess. Sure. And then the petroleum. Uh, the petroleum is going to go this way. And then this needs to be the light oil. Alright, the oil is being processed. Uh, this also is just working on the efficiency right now. But whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. Uh, the output is going this way. Let's have the output uh, join together and put into and put into provider chest. Mod and skewed. Hello, hello. Hello, how are you doing? <laughs> what is my win condition? The goal of this run. Um... The goal of this run is going to make a factory that does like a couple of thousand signs per minute. Basically. What are you at? Well, I am at launching my first rockets. Um, today. That's where I'm at. I will build basically a new factory. This is all going to be, like, not used. SPM doesn't matter right now because I'm not making the, uh, the final build yet. Um... I just want a couple space uh, sciences today to be done, probably. Uh, my actual SPM right now, I mean, we can take a look at this. It should be about 45, maybe. And yeah, 45 a minute. 40. Yeah, that's because like we have a buffer, probably. Uh, not anymore. Yeah. Spaghetti is slow. It's not slow. That's the that's that was my target SPM for the spaghetti build. It's working exactly as intended. Problem is not the spaghetti. Spaghetti is the opposite of a problem. Spaghetti is the way. Um, I just want to know like this. This is working all the time right now. And uh, I don't have any more petroleum, which means that the solid fuel is going to run out. Which means that what I want to do is to uh, have more light oil. And more light oil. Delete this and delete that. Since more light oil is going to be making me the uh, more of solid fuel, 
somewhere around here. Um, yep. So the light oil pipe is like over here. And this is going to be my light oil pipe. Continuing this way. Which I'm prioritizing for this. Uh, and these is going to be light oil into solid fuel. Like that. Alright, so this light oil solid fuel is going to be uh, over here. Uh, joined into into this line of solid fuel. Let's make this joint here. And this is going to be the other line. This is this the light oil solid fuel line. And I'm going to prioritize the petroleum so that the petroleum is all being used up because I don't want it here. So uh, a splitter that is taking the priority on the right is going to be this splitter. If current spaghetti has no dead ends and everything functions, you should make a block around it. Have a ton of stops and copy paste. Uh, yeah, we can do that. We can just copy paste the existing factory. That will work. But I need to copy it. For... Uh, like... For 5,000 SPM, 100 times. For 2,000 SPM, 50 times, I guess, right? But I can make the factory smaller. The uh, If I just copy-paste the spaghetti, is like not that interesting. What I want is to play around with the beacons, because I was never building beacon uh, factories before, right? So I'm probably like going to put everything on a grid of, uh, of beacons. Alright, so we already have a hundred. Actually, it looks like the speed of this should be already good enough. Uh, so probably, if I just connect this, and I don't need to do anything else. Let's delete that, put this over here, have it over here, have it over here. Ah. <clears throat> so this says output full pool of light oil yes all right so that's why we want this light oil to be converted into the solid fuel too copy pasted but as close as possible and build train stop at hawks we get the rails for the sake of space packing nah i'm not going to copy paste this I can build a new spaghetti, but a beacon spaghetti. We'll see, we'll see. I'm not going to do that today. Today the goal is to just like launch the couple of rockets. I'm not making the final build yet. All right. I, I want probably like to start the mall though today, maybe. Uh, the new mall that is going to make things better and faster. That probably may be happening today. We'll see. We'll see. Um... We'll see. Uh, so I have the um, rocket silo over here. I have two rocket silos already, right? Let's just place one of them. Rocket silo. It's in my inventory. It's over here. There it is. Rocket silo. Make this thing be... Over here. Yeah, that's a good place for it. Sure. Actually, no, it's not. It's not a good place for it. The rocket silo, I will beacon that. Um, I will beacon that. Let's make it over here. Make the beacons all the way around it.
like that. Um, should make it quick enough for me. And then I will have a requester chest for all the ingredients here. And then also for the rocket, uh, the uh, this thing that I'm currently researching, right? The satellite is another thing that I should be doing. Uh, but yeah, we can prepare the rocket at least for now. So this one is going to be the um, rocket control unit. 100... Of those is launching one rocket. No, 1,000 of those. That's a request. How many can I do? 48. I guess I can request 400 here. Of these, I can request 400 of those. And I can request 400 of these. And that is going to be put over there. <clears throat> right it says speed plus 400 percent five yeah that's that's good enough speed for me good enough speed for me uh the only thing is we need to put the productivity modules inside right so uh, the speed is now 4.4 productivity plus 40 percent uh, good. Everything is being delivered. The law, uh, the, the only thing that I should not have right now is the uh, rocket uh, fuel. Also, the low density structures for the yellow signs. Uh, I mean, they are all working. Should be good. It would be all good. Uh, put the lamps. In. Um, this can be deleted. I need that to be here. Okay, and that's the rocket. Uh, we already did one percent here. Literally, just waiting on the rocket fuel. Which is over here. It's coming. It's coming. There you go. There you go. 5% already. Okay. The rocket is going to be here soon. It is not going to launch automatically. We need to prepare the... Uh, this thing. This satellite. Uh, we need to craft accumulators. And... If I craft accumulators and solar panels, then it should be good. That's all I need, really. I can make it directly here, actually. That's what I'm going to do. Make it directly over here. As a satellite, uh, accept the productivity modules. Okay, satellite and also the... Um, the solar panels accumulators. Simulators, let's do that. Uh, request, request. Provider, provider. This is this. Uh, let's make more. 130. 330. That is better. Uh, how many accumulators do I want? I think the answer is just... Yes, but let's limit it just in case. Uh, to 100 accumulators. One of these requires 100 accumulators. Yeah, sure. Let's just limit to that. Can you set spider logistic requests via circuit network? 
Uh, no, I don't think so. But you can copy paste it. You can copy paste your spiders and then they will have the same logistic requests. You cannot connect a spider tron to a to a circuit. I'm pretty sure. You cannot do that. Okay, this one speed to 25. I can have more beacons here for more speed. Sure, why not? Let's do that. This one is unnecessary. Um, with a mod, you mean? Well, with a mod, you can do probably whatever you want. Okay, this is four. Um... Thirty-six percent rocket fuel is the missing one. All right, let's take a look at the rocket fuel. Here, this is all working. This is all working. Uh, okay, so now that we have that, I just want to do this copy pasting. Make it go here. Right. The idea would be to make a base where most of the logistics is done via spiders. Uh, okay, yeah, there, there are mods for spider trons. I know that you can like make them uh, like patrol. And stuff. Also, one of the things that I like the idea of is the Spidertron should be able to like go into a train. I want to travel my Spidertrons on trains because that's going to be faster. Sometimes uh, either like a transformer kind of thing where a Spidertron is converted into a wagon and then you join it into a train, something like that would be nice. But yeah, I don't know. I'm, I, I'm not really like thinking about that. Which also can be done with AI. Uh, yeah, 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 something like that. I know that it exists. I never played with mods though yet. I did not play with mods yet. Satellite. Request. Okay, and then we need to also do the production of... the solar panels right solar panels production make a hundred of those request 10 times more here do any more logistic bots all 1000 of those are working currently Syndicate 2 SC construction trains, you will like them. No, I did not see that. Construction train is a train that uh, has a roboport inside. Is that what you mean? I have been using construction trains in the vanilla by like just... Uh, I mean, the station. I build the station with the first roboport myself, basically. And then the train comes and builds the, the remaining things. That's what I have been doing. Rob ports and wagons. Yeah, should, there should be more more things in wagons. Uh, one other thing, other uh, that's going to be nice is the uh, normal turret, like the uranium ammo turret, on a train, so that when you make separate bases, the train can protect itself, right? Uh, in the in the territory of the biters, that would be nice. Uh. Uh, okay, we have 50% here. How are we doing over there? I will have all the uh, 
things here except for the solar panels. But solar panels, I am making them right now. This one is doing 3.5 speed. Same as this one. Which is basically making one in three seconds. So for... For a hundred... Well, in 300 seconds, five minutes. Five minutes is good enough. I think five minutes is good enough for one rocket. Right? Because if we want to, like, sustain the current SPM, which is, like, 40... Uh, how many rockets do I need to send? Um... thousand divided by 50 is 20. I need to send one rocket every 20 minutes. Right? Yeah, satellite performance is 200 SPM. That's already like too much and I will not be able to like have the other sciences for it anyway. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's take a look at this. All of that is working really nice. I could make even more. This how many? 18. Yeah, let's make this. A little bit more. <coughs> Just make a little bit more. This is already. Uh, let's take a look. Rocket fuel. I'm making 30 a minute. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I don't need to increase that. I am making 36 uh, rocket control units a minute too. Uh, rocket control units. And then the low density. I'm going to be limited by low density, probably. Draw a name with pipes. Okay. Hmm. Change color. Slash color. This. Oh, you don't see my color, though, when I'm inside the Spidertron. Can I change the color of the Spidertron using the same command? Is there a command to change the color of the Spidertron? Alright. Well, I am that color. Well, I can do it with, uh, like... I can do, a, I can do like, a script here. Find the Spidertron that the player currently is in, somehow, using the Lua. And then change the color of it. That's it, it's like not impossible. But uh yeah. Let's see, where do you where do we place this spike name? Hmm. Dun, 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 dun. Those scripts are vanilla, you can run them in console. Yeah, I know.
I think that's nice. Can I give you a better effort to draw a chicken? <laughs> to draw a chicken? How do I draw a chicken? I loot without a redeem because uh, now I'm interested myself. How would I draw it? We start with a little peony, and then uh, and then we do uh, that. That's a chicken. Mm. Right? It looks like a fish, but um that's a chicken. <clears throat> uh all right, and then uh, what I need to do is to make a request chest that is uh, going to be. I just. Um, uh, I just have the. Um, the thing over here. Yep. Over here. And to do that. Can you submit map R2? <laughs> It would come as a blueprint. Um, I don't know. Um, I'll think about it. Uh, if uh, space size is zero, and we do that, and then I have this and then i have a requester chest with the space science 2000 of those uh yep this connect to power need to be inside the uh, network like this okay now all we need is to wait for the rocket to be sent i was quick setting this up I thought I would uh, need more time the rocket is here uh, the satellite is here I already have a satellite we are ready to launch the first rocket uh, this requester chest is going to be the satellite Wait, how do I put it automatically there? Where's my satellite? Is it inside the rocket? But this UI does not show it to be inside? Uh, I mean, it's behind my camera, but it doesn't say that the contents has the uh, satellite inside right now. We are out of power, by the way. <laughs> Hear that siren? This means that we are out of power. Which is uh, because we don't have this yet. Uh, working.
We're not out of power yet. We have like 40 uh, power cells. Uh, am I out of uranium? Wait, what? One also did not have the uranium. Now, the uranium sounds okay. Some trains here are waiting. Once again. Yeah, they try to go through the base now. I want that to not be happening. I want that to never be happening, so... I think we delete this connection and it should be good. Maybe potentially. But still may I cover it faster. Use damage train stations to avoid train routing. Uh, yeah, I guess if I just make some stations here, you're right. It will take it will add a lot of penalty to the trains. So we'll prefer not to use that. Uh, but this it's the same. Basically. Alright. The siren is at least not very loud, so it's not a big problem. Let's go back to the rocket. But, um, yeah, this UI, when I'm on a hover, does not say whether or not we have the satellite inside. And if it's actually inside there, that's like weird. Because I see the other contents in there. Yes, the satellite is here. All right, we set to auto launch with cargo here, actually. Here's the first rocket of this run. It's kind of a nice coincidence that the the siren of me running out of power started exactly at the time where I'm ready to launch the rocket. All right, 50 hours in, we launch the rocket. Nice. Easy. Continue. And then and then we have uh, 1000 space science packs here, so I need to put that into the uh, provider chest. Like that. And then this is going to be uh, traveled into the science area. Over here. Control satellite loading by logistic network. What do you mean? Why do I need to do that? So that I don't overproduce space science if I'm not ready to consume it yet? Um... Okay, space science is here. We can figure out the research. I mean, sure, sure. I will do that, but, uh, like, I mean, it doesn't really matter here. I think. Does it? Maybe it does. Fine. Um, 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 fast and search here is enough. This. Connect to logistic network. Connect. Enabled if the space science is uh, equal to zero. Right, sure. Sure, sure, sure.
just to be safe. I mean, I'm wasting my uh, my my uh, my nuclear power cells. By the way, it was fixed already because it has received the uranium. Nice. Uh, but yeah, I'm wasting my fuel cells already. Uh, like I can, I can waste some satellites too. It's it's okay. I guess it's not only the satellites that I'm wasting, right? Also, like all the low density rocket control units and the other ingredients for launching the rocket. All right, what are we researching first? Let's see. What do you guys think should be the first one? There is the worker robot speed, but I don't think I really need that yet. There's artillery shell range, but I don't think I need that yet. Although that would be nice. I only launched one rocket so far. I mean, I have the uh, satellite here already. This is at 6%. Yeah, low density structure is the one that I'm going to be slow on, by the way. It's the low density structure. So I think the next rocket is not going to be launched like super soon. But uh, yeah, let's do something that's 1000, so it's not the artillery. Physical projectile damage or explosives. One of those two things, I think. <clears throat> no money productivity hmm. not yet first i need to like build the defenses so there is like two parts of me building the defenses i want to uh, i want my defenses to be just the artilleries like this that I have right now, but I want to have the perimeter of artilleries to be outside of my pollution cloud, and my pollution cloud is going to grow a lot. So I want to be able to like go through the biter nests here really easily, and then place an artillery station there. So I will want to increase my artillery ranges. Um. The physical projectile damage is mostly going to just help with me not getting the notifications of the um, like turrets being killed when the artillery is shooting. Uh, but if I want to like clear the biters easier to like go through them, then I want to have the stronger explosives, the rockets, because I'm going to be using the rockets in the spidertrons. Uh, to do that. Let's do that. Wait, hold on. This costs... No, 1,000. 1,000. The first one is 1,000. Actually, replacement might change with range research, but whatever. Uh, yeah, the placement is going to be changed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we will, we will place, uh, like, this artillery is going to be moved, like, over here, probably. I don't know how big my pollution cloud is going to be if I clear all the biters inside. Pum, 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 pum. Uh, the low density structures, by the way, they are missing the plastic. I do not have any plastic right now on this belt. Let's figure this out. Plastic is over here. It says item ingredient shortage, which is the coal. I don't have coal. Coal, I don't have that because the coal is over here. It says destination full. I do not have enough coal. It says, this one says no path to coal unload. Wait, hold on. Do I have too many trains? Call load, call unload. 
This coal. Oh, wait, hold on. Did they, like, kill that? That's the entire reason why the, tra why the train of the coal is not coming. Because this is not existing. And none of the trains can go this way. Let's fix that. You can expect all your artillery to shoot at once at each range upgrade. Yeah. But it's, it, it's going to be fine. Like, I mean, yeah. It's going to be fine. Uh, so there you go. Now that this is done, this train is going to leave. Uh, yep. Alright, and I might need more coal. Uh, anyway, I think this is the only coal that I'm mining currently. Yeah, I think that's all the coal that I'm mining, literally. Um, let's have more. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. <clears throat> From Kiwi Boy to Kiwi Boy Meow. Hello, hello. See for cat. Thank you for the raid again. Um, thank you for the raid. We just launched the first rocket today. Just launched the first rocket, and I'm doing the first space science, which is uh me upgrading the rockets for my Spidertrons. How was your stream? Ten push-ups. All right, let's do the push-ups. Uh, hold on. My phone did connect uh, sometimes. I think, like, it paused in the end there, right? Not sure why. <laughs> I'm being blocked by the only pool of water in this world. Again.
Uh, also, this is not working currently. The blue science is going to be missing because I'm not having the uh, red chips. It's uh, it's the same. It's the same. I don't have plastic. Did I figure it out? Yes, I did figure it out. It's the coal. Here we go. The coal is here. Plastic should continue flowing. Everything should be nice. Uh, but I want more coal over here. That's what we're working on. Right, all of this coal should be good. Invalid camera froze, you only did six. I thought it froze on the uh, number nine. I don't know, I don't know why. Let's do more coal. Let's do this one. Okay, so I'm going to have over here this stuff going that way, and then this stuff going that way, and then this stuff going that way, and going this way. Uh, poop, 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 poop. Good enough. And I have uh, this line. It's going to be the coal station. I'm just going to do the same as we're doing here, like that. Uh, delete this, delete that. Wait, why is this on the other side? <laughs> the three-headed push-ups. Funny. Um, okay, I do this. Uh, power pole. Uh, power pole. Power pole. Power pole. And uh, that's done. And I'm going to have miners everywhere. Miners with efficiency. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, three, four, five. <clears throat> Home from work. Some people work from home, but Wes does it the other way around, and he Homes from work. Okay. <clears throat> um, let's do this. 
like that. A splitter. One, two. This, this. Um, connect these two chests together. The wire. Right, I will need to refill myself in a little bit. Uh, let's connect the bottom one and the top one because those are going to be running out the soonest. And then after that, we do we do this one, two, three, four, and then we do one. Two, three, four. Okay, good enough. Good enough. Unless I want to like set. Actually, you know what? Let's upgrade the coal uh, train before. Um, I do these other things. I'm just going to have this blueprint be uh, like over. Here somewhere, yeah, over here, sure. Our pole. Um, we have in this station the 12 chests, uh, one cargo wagon, the stack of 50. That's it. That's going to set the limit of this station like that. Set the train limit. Don't enable disable. Uh, and then connect all the chests together. Um, the chest. The chest should not connect to over there. They should connect to over here. There you go. But right now, the limit is zero. It don't work like that. It would have taken one effort to fix that off by one belt. Which one, which one of these belts is off by one? I don't see any off by one belts. They are all exactly where they need to be. From what I can see. Actually, I'll leave this here too. Is that triggering you if I leave this here? Um... to build these um did i place a raider i thought i placed the raider i guess i did not i did not let's do this uh make the ammo boxes for now still need them uh storage chest turn off personal logistics give this the ammo give this the uh, repair packs uh give this the bots give this the logistic bots give it the power do all of those leftmost this belt it's off by one I mean it should be over here all right, fixed. Hmm. Now I will turn the logistics back on. Refill. Looks like another thing like that is going to be nice to have. My face is over one. Which way? Hmm. 
All right, while I'm refilling, I'll need a bathroom break real quick. Hello, Evo. How are you doing? Okay, so what do we want is uh, to change the trains, the coal trains. Yes, the coal trains. Um. By the way, what did I do here? What exactly did I copy? Available. Um, yes, it's the loading station. I did not build this quick uh, close enough. Still, that's fixing it. Um, need to finish that, and then also, yeah, let's go finish that first. Looks like the research has slowed down because of no yellow signs. All right, yeah, makes sense, makes sense. All the all the low density structures are currently going like into the rocket too. Uh, in addition to that stuff, this is a uh, twenty eight percent done. We already have three satellites though. Have three satellites. Did I connect these? I think I did not connect that, so that I'm not limiting the amount of satellites. I think 10 satellites is more than enough. Probably like only one of them is even more than enough there. Okay, all the ammo. It's going into these boxes now. Very nice. So this train stop already has enough for one train. <clears throat> okay, then I'm going to go and change the coal unloading station. How many coal trains do I have? Three. Yeah, not too bad. But, um, so it means that I have three unloading stations probably, right? Yes, exactly. Let's go and set the... Uh, the limits here. Um, that. Okay, I'm going. You have uh, six chests, one cargo wagon, connect all of these together. What? Uh, like this. 
and then the limit connect here this is the unloading station i need the uh, free amount here that that train limit okay so this one does not need a train anymore uh the tr uh, the trains themselves are going to be having the uh, these things in their schedule <clears throat> uh, let's go for the next one here's the next one which is technically like exactly the same as this just copy it like that Love these chests. Go here. This goes here. Set train limit. Okay, this one can receive six trains apparently. Uh, and then one more coal unloading station is. Um, that way. Uh, do the same thing over here. Connect all these together. Connect that over here. Connect the limit to this. Set train limit. Nice. This one does not need a train. This, uh, wait, wait. Between. Another. All oh, this one also needs wait. Wait in between, go. Okay, that should be now good. Uh, in this loading station, I'm just disabling it instead of like making more trains uh, that can come here. I mean, I can do that too. Yeah, sure, let's do that too. This one is loaded only on one side. But I think it's totally fine here. <clears throat> I'm going to do... This? One six fifty. Set train limit. All right, six trains. Nice. Time to go see if you pass out. Nice. Have a nice rest. Um, is this one out of the uh, ammo? Probably. I'll give this the ammo. Like that. I don't have any more. What else? This has been destroyed a little bit. We have stronger explosives now. So this is 50% damage. Uh, can I see the damage on the rocket? I can. Uh, 200 plus 460 explosion damage. Which is 860. I need more. So, how, hold on. How many upgrades do I need for one shot in the behemoths? I need 300. 3,000, right? 3,000. 50% of the damage is 100. So... So, I need... I like 2,000 more. I need 20 more upgrades. Wait, what? I thought it's a lot smaller number than that. Is 
Is it right? 20 upgrades? Sounds like a lot. I mean, it's going to be better already, like... But still... Let's take a look at the cover X. How many do we have? Four. Production of the uranium. 6.6 .6 a minute. Has been increasing. In the last two hours. Yeah, they like they have a little bit of access here for sure. Um, I don't feel like doing it manually though, even though it would be faster. Um, I'll just give it the time, it's fine. It just means that I don't have the atomic bombs yet. <laughs> More of those would be cool to have. Uh, yeah, and also, since this is already working, I should, I should also make this go back. All of that. This should be deleted. Uh, because... Yeah, I need to empty these chests, for sure. And put priority on the left. Merge it left with a splitter? Oh, I could merge it left with a splitter. Two. Yes. Hmm. Whatever, it's fine. That is working. What I could do is, like, do this, I guess. Put the things manually, like this and that. A couple of times. And it would... Like, speed it up a little bit, but, yeah, whatever. How's my rocket here? 50%. Got better speed modules? Uh, yeah, I do have better speed modules. Do I? I guess I do. I was waiting for them to be like upgraded over here. Though this is not <laughs> really used right now. For the speed modules. Uh, too much. These are not even like crafting anything. Uh, let's just upgrade, yeah. Speed module. Hundred twenty eight. Let's uh let's just do the bottom one, the bottom line first a little bit. The first ones. This is going to be missing two. So I guess I can uh, cancel this upgrade. And I'm not going to be missing anything, right? We should see the difference. The difference between speed... Uh, this is crafting speed 2 and this is crafting speed 1.4. I mean, it's not that much, but uh, yeah. 
it is a difference for sure. Uh, what is missing over here? Or oh, more efficiency modules? Okay. Let's give this the efficiency modules. <clears throat> I'm starting to question my choice of the rocket upgrade instead of like the physical damage upgrade or the artillery range waiting for that Let's see. I can like go into all of them at the same time though. Like, do a little bit of this and a little bit of that. For the first time ever, you copy a blueprint because if you spend enough time in the same. It is the same thing I would come up with. And you are tired of spending the time. I thought you were doing the spaghetti this time. Spaghetti is basically no blueprints. But you were forcing yourself to do spaghetti. Spaghetti bothered you too much? Okay, so I'm not going to like, the, like I said, do the, the final build yet, but we want the science to constantly be here. Uh, at least, I want the science to be constantly going, even if slowly. First. Right. I'm missing the low density structures currently. Probably should just upgrade those. Lotus is structured is uh, copper, iron, and plastic. Uh, and the reason they are not being crafted is because I do not have plastic still coming all the way. Can speed these things up. Looks like fluid shortage. Oh wait, hold on. It actually is the fluid shortage. Yeah, speeding this up will not help it. We are not having enough petroleum here. Petroleum, 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 petroleum. This one's uh, this one is all working all the time. We are working all the time. The petroleum is just not enough. That petroleum pipe is also connected to this petroleum pipe. Petroleum is what we need. Rocket fuel here is not used at all. I have too much light oil in this area.
some point you'll want to begin the old resin to get the productivity bonus. I will, I will. And I think I will do it only in the new base. Where I'm will go in where I'm going to beacon everything. Um like technically, even like even the speed modules, they are worse than just building more, right? At this point. Until I do the mega base, like the like like doing efficiency and just building more is better. Uh the only reason it's worse is because of the UPS, from what I understand, right? Um, so yeah, this all, all, all of that will eventually not be working at all. What's my current update time anyway? Two milliseconds. Yeah, like it's nothing uh, right now. And uh, like if this is just going to stop working completely. Uh, then like, yeah, we're just going to basically have a new base somewhere. Da -da 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 -da. More machines is the cheap way. All right, uh, let's do the uh, let's do the uh, racking of the light oil like this. Racking of the light oil over here. Um, this is the water pipe. Uh, this is water, and then this is the light oil. I have too much of that. And it's going to be coming this way. This. It's going to work here. Uh, give me more petroleum. From the cracking. Actually, in this case... I guess I can do the priority on the light oil fuel then, and then just like use this petroleum uh, for the for the other things properly. Uh, this, that, that. This is all the petroleum. That I can connect to wherever is my petroleum pipe. Where's my petroleum pipe? This over here? This over here? Like this. I'm just going to have the petroleum from this area to also come over there. <clears throat> more plastic now? Yeah, it should be more plastic. There you go, this petroleum pipe is no longer empty. I'm also going to upgrade this to have speed modules. You know what, actually? Upgrade. Cancel this upgrade. Let's have the speed module. Uh, one here. This and that. Speed module one is because I have those. Speed module two is looks like... It's not here. 
because it's being used to craft the speed module 3 probably. This is plus 60%. I have all the coal, I have all the plus, all the petroleum now. These are working constantly. Should be giving me almost a full belt. It should be like good enough for everything that I'm using it for, I think. Sure though. Not sure. <clears throat> another another siren. Uh, let's take a look at this. A full belt of uranium-235. Twenty-five power cells. These ones have even less. Oh, but these ones also only only request five. My coverex will run into belt throughput issue before it fills up. Um, will it? Will it? Let me see, the cover X, this is using 40 every 60 seconds. So it's using... Yeah. That's only about after two rows, probably. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Maybe I will just upgrade the belt. Here. How much do I need here? Uh, if I don't, if I, I will eventually like not use the speed modules here. So like that's the speed that we're going to be doing. Um, it's emitted, but it's forty in forty-one out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it is, it is. But at the same time, uh, in order to not have this issue, I can just take the things back in from the same belt eventually, right? Uh, like right now I have two belts, the belt that's going in and the belt that's going out. But I can just do, just take from the same belt and that's going to be like uh, picking things up and emptying the belt for the other things. Just make sure they have both. Yeah, like so so like one of these belts is the one that is like for sure has both. And the other belt is like having these things mixed. Because that's the output belt. Yeah, and then inserters wouldn't break anything, yes. That's true. We got time. I mean, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, we do got time. Make more plastic? No, 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 hold on, hold on, no, 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 no. 
We need to fix the power. We we have the time, but like we're going to run out of time too. It's because it's uh giving it to the um, to this thing. I I guess I want to disable this for now. Can set the inserter? Yeah, but like this is still going to be uh, requesting. I will I will uh, remove this from the requester for now. That's what I will do. I will take this uranium, uh, and that uranium is going to go for the power cell production. I could change the inserter, but like it means that I still I, like 50 uh, uranium-235 just being here is like is a big number for me yet for now. So I'll do this instead. Can set the request with combinator depends on the storage. Oh, wait. Yes, but too lazy to do that. But that's a good idea. For sometime in the future. I guess, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. 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 Let's do it right now, actually. This. Uh, I will need the RoboPort for that, I guess, to reach the logistic network content, right? Let's do read the logistic network content. Uh, set requests. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not like that. Hold on. Uh, decider combinator. If the uh, uranium-235 is more... Then a hundred, then output uh, uranium one, and then I multiply that uranium count by whatever I want to have in that chest, which is like 30, right? Which is 60. Uh, that is the request. Mm -hmm. More than three hundred. I'll request a hundred then. Set requests. Okay, I'm going to take um, a food break a little earlier today. And... This says 11. I think I already launched another rocket. Did I launch another rocket already? Yeah, I did. Another rocket just happened. We missed it, but it was there. I can do one more research. What do we do this time? You stuck on this game like forever? Yeah, this game is hard. 
Oh, Rex. Uh, also, can someone explain what did I try to do over here? Why do we have a chest with this? Anyone knows what I was doing here? Where's the damage rocket control units? Uh, maybe I was setting up the modules there because this is just the all the chips. I guess rocket control uses also just the chips. Uh, it will just be below the uh, separate request. Okay, yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. All right, all the low density structure assemblers are working. Everything is nice. We have all the signs. I can. Do the research. Uh, like I said, I was going. I'm going to have a food break. Uh, but let's do the research of something useful. Mm. Stronger explosives, sure. Let's, uh, let's just continue on that, so that my spider swans can like go through the biters. Um, fine. Fine, fine, fine. I go eat while this is being researched. Oop. Who knows? Maybe even there's going to be another rocket launched. Let's take a look over here. It will.
Okay, here I am. Just just in time for another rocket launch. There we go. Rocket number three. Has been launched. Now. Uh, the science is missing. The black science. Black science is the... Is the slowest one currently. This is because I want one more of these. Let me fix it here. Uh, to work better. That should work better. And then uh, red and green only have productivity one, so like four and five of those instead of five and six should be fine. Although it seems like the red size is also missing the copper. Missing the copper here. Am I? Ah, uh, should be fine, should be fine. <clears throat> Careful, this build is historical. <laughs> Oh wait, hold on, I actually have five. I actually have five uh, red signs. The only thing is, this one over here that I connected at some point <laughs> has never been uh, connected to the belt. There you go. This one was never connected apparently. There you go. That should be now proper five. A productivity three in these. And then, and then, the, oh wait, hold on. I actually have the six, like I wanted to. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. There you go. Plates instead of gears. No, 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 no. The gear is coming from this left one. Assembler. It's fine. The smoke from the furnaces make it look like my spiders are on fire on something. <clears throat> Alright, 69% research. Um, uh, another thing that I could go for is having more spidertrons. I mean, more Spider-Trons is not a bad idea. I think. Let's see. Roboports. Roboports. 
copy the spider. Spider trons are over here. One, two. We have two spider trons. One, two. Uh, here is one of them. Here is another one of them. Have more. Uh, I think I could do one more. No, uh, hold on. I actually can do two more, it seems. If I will have one more personal robot port. I mean, even just three more is already like maybe much better. Uh, missing one personal robot port, yes. <clears throat> there you go. Not all of those are going to be supplied. I think I don't have enough uh, rockets. But, uh, actually, no, I probably have enough. Okay, there you go. Now I need to make... Uh, let's make another remote. Spider-tron remote. Okay, there we go. Hold on, KKJ. Hello, hello. Uh, we are doing great. We have launched... Is it four rockets? Or three rockets that I have launched so far? I'm not sure. I didn't really count. Something like that. Three or four rockets have been launched. I have researched one level of the uh, space uh, science for the rocket damage. I'm researching one more level right now. So that I can have my Spider-Tron army go ahead and build, like, the outposts uh, kind of quickly. The rules are the same as before. If you forgot, we are playing Desert Death World without using the OP mechanics such as flamethrower turrets or landmines. We're using some OP mechanics, like... Um, like the army of Spider-Trons, but, um, but that's fine. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Uh, all right. Still are waiting for the rockets. All the rockets are coming here. And the goal of this run is to make a mega build, a mega base. Which is going to be making like 2.7 thousand science a minute, probably. Which is a blue belt of science. Um, yeah, just for me to practice the uh, the beacons, because I never build bases with beacons. Uh, 
How's my Kovarex going? Still only here. <clears throat> All right, which means that I'll just have to uh, work without Looks like at least we have all the rockets and all the spider trons. Uh but yeah, I'll just uh, not be nuking things yet. Prepare this. I'm going to clear this. And uh, start by placing the... Uh, the artillery over here. The last one of the current perimeter. And then I'm going to start slowly expanding the perimeter further. Okay, let's see. If I just walk straight into the nest with this many spiders, I think I already should be like totally fine here. Yeah, kind of. Uh, that was a relatively small nest. And then if I also like move around, then it will be even easier. For sure. And we can also do this thing where the Spider-Tron follows me and I... I'm a little in front so that the spiders... are not going to be attacked at all. Let's see. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah, indeed. And then we can add the destroyers, although they don't really help like a lot, but we can help. We can have those too. In addition. They destroy they don't even like shoot the lasers. Because the rockets like are enough here. It looks like. Upgrade artillery to more range. I will. I will. There is a lot of things that I want to upgrade. We'll do all the science. Artillery range is one of those upgrades that I want. But not the most important one yet.
Oh shit, I almost died there. I'm almost out of rockets here. Alright, here's another level of damage. Which means that I will use even less rockets, but I need to go for a refill in a second. Should have enough though to finish finish up everyone, it seems. Maybe not. Okay, maybe not. Hello, Chase from Doctor House. Didn't know you play Factoria. Chase from Doctor House. I need to watch Doctor House. Who was Chase? The oncologist? It was, um... It was a long time ago. I watched that. Hmm. Hmm. The surgeon. Okay. Oh, the handsome one. I see. <clears throat> oh, I remember now, I remember now. Although, I mean, I, I kind of remember. How do, how do I look that? How do I look into the camera like that? I don't know. All right, anyway, the uh, the uh, rocket damage looks like it's fine. I'm just like only requesting 800 rockets into every Spider-Tron currently, so... I mean, it's mostly the front Spider-Tron that needs more ammo here, right? Let's, uh, let's just request for this one. Uh, 2,000, right? Because if this one is in the front, makes more sense. Uh, yeah. So, you, do you think it's time for the artillery range? Or do I want to go for the physical damage? So that my well, artillery, when shooting, it's currently, like, the, the, the biters, they do destroy my, my turrets a little bit. I can go into the bullet damage first. This one doing plus 40 and plus 70 on the turrets. Uranium cannon shell. I keep forgetting about these ones. I kind of want to try them. But like, at the same time... I don't see any reason for... For them. When are they unlocked exactly? 
on the uranium ammo. This is like the yellow. Yeah. Like if you don't really have the spider tron here yet, you didn't even start making the purple signs. Maybe like the tank is still good. But at the same time. I don't know. Have two rocket silos and do both. If only tank mobility wasn't that crap. Well, I guess it's better with the nuclear fuel that you're going to be putting in. But for the nuclear fuel, like, it, like on one hand, I was saying that, like, you have these uranium uh, can cannon shells uh, only by using the purple science, right? But in order to have the nuclear fuel so that your tank is faster, you will need the purple science. Because that is unlocked by the cover X, right? And that's like, yeah, that is. That's expensive. 250 compared to the rocket fuel, which is 180. We'll see. I, tr I will try. Uh, I will try it, even although we are. Like past that point where it will be useful, but I just I'm just curious. Can it even kill a behemoth? I mean, this is already will be with the space sign uh, with the space upgrade. I don't know. And you probably gotta keep making turns, and there's cliffs and stuff. Well, yeah, I mean, you keep the uh, cliff explosives on your hotbar. Calculate one should behemoth with the uranium shell. Uh, let's see. We have the current bonuses of damage plus 220. I mean, we can see this uranium cannon shell right now is doing... Uh, is doing... For... For 1000, about 2000 damage. So we're too short in the behemoths right now. I mean, also like the physical, they are going to have 10% uh, reduce on that, right? Yeah, two shotting them right now. With the uranium cannon shell, the explosive ones. <laughs> that seems reachable, five upgrades max, yeah. Seems reachable. For sure. Huh. my cover X is it even increasing <laughs> has not been increased in the last hour This one is not working because output pool. So does it mean that I'm already at the maximum belt capacity here? Maybe.
That's the wrong place. <clears throat> that better? Maybe. You considered your playthrough finished when a single miner feel a blue belt? Mining productivity level 190. Nice. Mining productivity though is not exponential, unlike some of the other upgrades here. So like if you go, I, I think, right? If you go here, it's 250, uh, like 2500, and then 500, and then 75. Yeah, yeah, this one is linear. But uh, so like it's a lot cheaper to do mining productivity. If you compare this to the physical project style damage, this is one thousand, and then two, and and then four. Hold on, yeah, one, two, four, eight, sixteen. Yeah, this is a lot. This is a lot more expensive to go. To go the military researchers, I guess. What about the robots? Robots are also exponential. Is the mining productivity the only one that is not? This one is weird. Hold on. 2, 4, 10, 28. The shooting speed. Looks like it's... Well, the, the follower bot count is also linear. That one is the cheapest one. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, so I will start with the um, artillery over here. That's what I wanted to do. Artillery over there. To close the perimeter. I'll make it like over here probably for now. And then after that I'm going to start expanding the others. Okay. Uh, is my science good though? It is not. What am I missing? The yellow science. Okay, the yellow science is the one that we can improve. And the yellow science is missing the low density structures. So more low density structures. This is right now out of steel. Okay. Steel. Why do I not have any steel here? Where is the steel even coming from? It's coming from over here. Um, is it just because I don't have enough of the ore here? Maybe.
Thanks. <clears throat> All right. What do we want is to build this thing. Let's build around here. Uh, and this, which is going to be a single line. <clears throat> Okay. And then I also want Is this my personal robots? Yeah, I should uh, I should disable those, I think. Uh when I'm building these outposts, it should be built just by the spiders. They have everything that's needed. Hmm. I'm back in six days and one hour. Alright. Uh Maybe we have time shift upcoming night. Wait, uh, where's the factory developers from? They're going to have the time shift too. Because I'm not going to have the time shift. We don't have the daylight saving anymore. They are also in the check. Yo, Rinks! Hello! Uh, are you excited for the Ludum there, Rinks? Look at this over here. Let me show you. Let me show you my... Um, my wallpaper. Nice, right? Tonight is the time shift, at least uh, here in Romania.
Do, do, do. Oh, Ricky is here. Hello, Ricky. Hello, Ricky. Uh, this is done. Wall supply. Hold on. Why is the wall supply not here? No path to wall supply load. This one says no path. Why do I have no path? Wait, no path to the load? No path to the load? Hold on. Oh, that's right. I disabled this shit. Uh, let's go ahead and re-enable it. Whatever. I keep breaking my uh, my rails here. <clears throat> I didn't decide that we weren't going to participate, but uh, we'll still convene and use the time to work on more things for different strokes. Uh, you can you can do a ludum there with a different team. Wink, wink. <laughs> Nobody asked yet? Alright. I'll think about it. Although... I don't know yet what I want to do for the Ludum Dare. My current idea was that I don't actually want to do the programming or like at least do the smallest amount as possible. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I want to. I need to like come up with what I want this Ludum Dare. Rings code and Kui art. Where's my spider drone, by the way? I still have a bunch in my trunk, right? So, like, technically, I'm not out of rockets yet. I wish this showed me. And this was, I wish this was refilling not only when I run out of rockets, but, like, constantly. Okay, the outpost is being built, everything uh, is going to work. I wonder if my pollution is going to reach over there. Or is it not? So, like, if I do this distance from the center in all directions... Are we going to be fine for now, at least? Matter of time? No, it's a matter of distance. The desert is absorbing some pollution a little bit. <clears throat> With big enough distance, uh, we will not be polluting the biters at all. If the center is shiny red, there is a lot to dissipate. The center is always going to be a shiny red. Though... No? 
All right. Maybe maybe this is going to be my uh, my goal for this run. We do a uh, three thousand SPM, and then we also we need to not only do that, but also the three thousand SPM factory should be surrounded by the uh, artillery like that, so that I'm not polluting any 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 biters. It's going to be a big map then, right? This is the maximum zoom that I can do currently on the map. We discuss pollution in the uranium outpost. Amon is inside the cloud now. Uh, yeah, it is inside the cloud. But we can still see like what's the distance here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Like something like 10 chunks here is the radius. I don't remember what we calculated. I think we calculated like 20 chunks though. That should go just through this uranium mine with efficiency modules there. Oh, it makes sense. It's like not mining anymore. So, yeah. I don't know. You have a team of game jam noobs ready to go? No way. I thought you were always going comp to compo, Ricky. Is this the first one you're going to do with the team? <clears throat> Red, green, this, this, this. Oh, yeah, we are out of space science. How's my rocket doing? Let's see. It says 65% low density structures. So it's missing the steel, and I have the steel over here. Let's steal the steel to do the things. Over there. It doesn't work. Go here, go here, go there. This doesn't work. Go here. I want to connect it over here. That's what I want to do. There we go. Beautiful. This steel has been stolen. Uh, nice. So here's what we... Wait. Wait, wait, wait. This does not make sense. Oh, this one is disabled. Alright. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, why is this belt not filled yet, but we are already attacking, though? That's what doesn't make sense to me. I'm feeling this chest faster... ...that I am emptying it. Something is wrong with this, uh... Yeah, there is only, like... This is a filter inserter, and this is a filter inserter. Hand stack size, 1 plus 2. Hand stack size, 1 plus 2. Probably because just working at the same speed. And then uh, I was like putting the. Yeah, like I, I still did not output all the um, repair packs here. Yeah, it's like the order matters of these items. What is the order of the items? Like when I'm setting the filters uh, using circuitry, the. Um, Also, I need repair packs, and why do I not have repair packs here in this train? That's another question. 
Probably just because, like, I'm using a little pair packs currently. Anyway, I mean, it's not a big issue here. Does the order they appear in the inventory or something? Just, like, be, by the ID? Is it just by, by the internal name of the item, like... Or the order they appear in the inventory? By this order. But what is this order? Like, that's why I don't like the inventory sorting, the automatic one. Because I have no idea what this order is. Crafting page order. All right. Uh, yeah. Okay, crafting page order. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. So the low density. Did I did I increase it? Is the steel here already? Uh, because it should be. I put the steel here. Here we go. It's going down there too. This steel is for the engines. This is for the science. And that. This over here. So all the steel is here. All the low density structures are working again. Nice. Nice. Low density structures. We go back to this number. 60. 60 sounds like a good number. Um... <clears throat> So I can be um, gathering the resources. Or maybe not yet. Let's have four search for tooltip. Uh, show debug info in tooltips. Item stack size, item ID. Okay, yes. Entity order. Z A robot A logistic robot. Entity or entity order versus item order. I guess we will want to go for the item order here, right? Feel. Copper X. This one is saying output full. Because I'm trying to output on that belt. This over here is bad now for me. Uh, I need to delete this splitter. I should not feed back into itself anymore. I'm pretty sure. 
this, that should be deleted. Because this half of the output belt is uh, now filled, and we don't want that. Nice. Good job. I never had a Tamagotchi. I know what it is, but I, I never played with those. Hmm. Maybe we make a game like that for the loot in there. <clears throat> yeah, 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 for sure. For this Ludum there, we need to make something Factorio related. Rewrite Factorio in two days for the Ludum. We didn't know how to process that image. Yeah. No, I mean, it's funny. It gave me the idea of a game to make. When I go on a food break, we replace the uh, the camera with that thing, and you can play with it in chat using chat commands. Uh, Elohim, hello. Uh, my girlfriend got a frog Tamagotchi for your birthday. You're 27 years old. Nice. Did you see car car repair pack and power line on the bottom? How many hours have I played Factory in total? Uh, something like... Uh, 1400 hours. Not too much. Not too much. Still a noob. <clears throat> Car, car, repair pack, power pole. Yes. Hmm. <clears throat> Because your cars die and you crash into power poles. True. True, true, true. Okay, let's uh let's extend this line. I'm gonna just going to go up like there. Make it I'm just going to make these on the edge of the pollution clouds. And as my pollution cloud is growing, I'm going to build them further out. Probably that's the plan. Uh, one of the things that is nice to do eventually uh, is uh, research the robot speed, right? I just need a couple so that, that my bots can build the rails at the same time as I'm moving. Okay, um...
Actually, let's make it like directly on the edge of the map. Over here. Okay, uh, do not delete that. This will be built eventually. And that's going to be the range. How is the rocket? 99%. Is this the last thing? I need five more low density structures here. It's about to launch. Ah, sorry. There we go. There we go. There you go. I also have only two... Um, only have two satellites left. Where's with my other satellites? I am missing another solar panel here. Why is the solar panel not being produced? Because I don't have... Because I don't have... The green chips? No way. Here's all of my green chips. Lot of green chips. This is about to be built and shoot to. Hmm. How's the coverage going? Uh, uh, hopefully better. Yeah, I, I did. I did some change here. A little bit I go it's working this one says output full which is bad because like I'm, I'm right now I'm emptying this belt After that, these are ready to work already. They have enough uranium inside. Why did I start being attacked more? Is it because like the evolution is going higher and I have more percentage of the behemoths? Yeah, probably the case, the, the way. Or it's probably also because I'm shooting at this like uh, high density nest, so they are sending bigger attacks because of that, right? I 
Isn't that inserted the long way on the last box? Last box on the cover X. Now this last box is empty. Yeah, it's empty in this belt, which is good. Uh, the belt was completely full. Uh, a little ago. All right, uh, let's do another one. I think I think we should keep the same amount of the artillery that I already have, because I will increase the uh, the range of that anyway, right? I'm just going to continue them like over there, and then like we are going to be increasing the range. So that I need less artilleries eventually, and they will like overlap their areas, and it's going to be fine. Let's, uh, let's work on this one now. It's my final goal, kill all the biters. Uh, nah. Kill all the biters in the pollution cloud. I have the mega base that's going to be producing a couple of thousand signs per minute. And I didn't even start making the, uh, the big base yet. The entire map is a little bit too big for me to kill all of the biters here. Just kill a little bit more here because this is where I'm building the other outpost. Let's get rid of this. One started shooting. So we are increasing the physical projectile damage because I'm using the uranium ammo. And uh, I don't want. Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! I wasn't planned to go like that. How does that happen though? How does that happen? It's because the artillery is there shooting for whatever, for like, but it should not be there yet i mean this 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 it, it left back which is like how, what it should do but it should have left uh like before let's see maybe there is something wrong here like the artillery should only come here after we have the um, the ammo on the belt entirely here
After I have everything. Uh, not enough turrets. Hmm. Like, why was this not the problem before? Like, no, th that's not the problem. The problem is that I had turrets and I have the artillery already there, but I did not have the belt filled with ammo yet. The, uh, the artillery for some reason came too early. Let me see. How did artillery trade survive? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> the condition here is that everything less than zero. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, let me let me not do anything here yet. I will finish that later. Let's repair that one. And see what actually was wrong there. Belt not built and the chest filled up with ammo. Mm, yeah, maybe I'm on, like unloading the things faster. And like the station assuming that it's already done, where in reality it's not done yet. Uh, but like if the belt is not built and if the belt is in the progress of being built, then... Then it means that, like, I'm still unloading more belts from the uh, from the train, right? That's what it should mean. At least. Bam, 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 bam. So right now this is disabled. Everything less than zero. Yeah, it's disabled because I don't have anything right now. 200 ammo. I think it's not connected to the correct one here. Uh, this is connected over there. Which is uh, multiplying everything by one. But it should be connected over here, which is multiplying everything by 2. So, uh, we have these two arithmetic combinators. Because uh, one of them is multiplying the items that are requesting by 1. Another one is multiplying them by 2. Because I am I'm calling the train that is the supply train when I have less than this amount. But then I'm unloading twice as much, basically. So that I don't need to call the train um, very often here. This should be uh and then the artillery it looks like is just connected to the wrong one because it should call the artillery after i have no hold on no 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 no, no. after i have twice as much yeah like because it's still like yeah be, yeah because like i'm unloading for twice as much it is still being unloaded. But at the same time, if I can reconnect this to the other one, then the artillery train is going to go away. And we're not going to have artillery here at all. So I think I need to just add to this blueprint the condition that the train, the builder train, is here. This could also fail if certain combinators are missing. Well, we are not supposed to have these combinators, like, destroyed. Uh, yeah, I think the problem here is that I need to add a condition that the train is still here, then the artillery train should never come here. If I am currently in the process of, like, building it, 
Which basically means that the train is here. This one should not come. Everything is less than zero. I think I literally... I'm going to read the uh, stopped train. And I'm going to read it into the... Uh, into the S. The S for stopped train. And I'm going to connect this... Over here. Um, yeah, the reason it's green wire is because, uh, is because I don't want to connect to, to like these things again. Uh, so that I'm only like adding the, uh, the stopped train to the set of signals here, right? And then basically, if the stopped train is here, it's going to have its ID. ID is always more than zero, which is going to disable this station. I think that should be fixing the issue. I hope so. All right. This one says destination full. Yeah. How's my um, builder trains? Standing, waiting at load. We're waiting for something here. It's not the ammo. What am I missing here? Some turrets. I need to increase the turret production. I'm making the turrets too slow. That's because we don't have the iron here. That makes sense now. Why do I not have the iron here? Zero iron trains. Do I have the traffic gems again? And that's why. Let's take a look at the iron trains. Waiting at load. Uh, no, that shouldn't be a problem. This one is waiting at load for a little bit too long. And it makes sense. Um... I don't think it the... Uh... Wait, may maybe I just don't have the iron? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No. No, the iron is definitely not the problem. Um... Right station gets double the constant output now. Uh, yeah, but this this yeah this constant output doesn't matter because yeah, if it's two it does matter instead of just being one. This is the amount of instruction bots. Uh, the total amount of construction bots. Uh, in this robo port.
like this one for example it's going to have the uh, t1 here and then t negative 15 so like it's going to be negative still be fine hmm it's just my uh train problem again i think like this over here you see how this is waiting here for like uh forever let's go fix that let's upgrade all the rails again The one waiting at your name. That one is also having the iron. Or they're trying to like go into this thing. So like there is a lot of traffic around uh, the stacker, right? Missed signal. Missed signal what where? I mean, I can have more signals here for sure. Let's add more signals. Why not? <laughs> uh, I'll just make this a uh, double rail and like uh, make the connection directly like over here. This is like not very good here. Um, but I can do this. This one is not going to do anything anyway. This is a little better. And they also still want to come through, is another thing, right? That, that's why I, like, disabled this shit. Um, before. Because they try to come through this base, and I don't want that to happen. Um... I can try disabling this again. Did we try that before? I don't remember. It's going to have a traffic jam over here, though, probably. Maybe. Martin Luther Boulevard is jammed again. Alright, uh, let me work on this. Let me work on this over here. I want this to be a double rail anyway. I'll connect it over there directly. Uh, this, that, like, so. This, that. Um, also want it to be... A, Connectable over there. This to be connectable over here. Uh, this is going to be 
Rail signal. Dun, dun, dun. I guess that will be a little bit better if I do it like this. Then I'm going to go this way. Uh, that can be connected this way. This can be this, this can be that. Yeah. Right. I want to continue forward like this. This is also going to be a double. Do I need this connection? Maybe I don't. Just continue. Uh, okay, so some of these are going to go here. That, that. Uh, this one is going to be... That's still one way. Like this. Uh, but I might want potentially I might potentially want go back here let's do that Uh, which means that there is going to be like... Whatever. Whatever. Uh, this... That... That... This is my second rail going this way. Push-ups, be gorly. Okay. One second.
Good enough. I think this is good enough. Uh, good enough. I just go this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. Go here. Make this. Go like that. Over here. This is the second rail. That one. Can go over here. Here we can go over there. Here we can go over here. Uh, one, two, three, four. Good enough. Good enough. Should work. All right, all right. Let's do the push-ups. Okay, so basically what I want is over here to have a connection over there. Because why not? Martin Luther, we're going to go all the way around you. It's going to be the Martin Luther block. We're going to surround you in rails completely. I think. <clears throat> Let's see. Got this planner. <laughs> That's how much we did. Very good, very good, very good. Okay, so I'm going to go into this place. Uh, so that we can go directly over there, mostly. Should also be able to go directly over here. And then I want to go here. And then I want to go here. Yeah. Okay, hold on. 
So this can just go over this way now. Uh, should be better, maybe. <laughs> All the strings should be sorted out. Hopefully. Okay, I don't see the traffic jam anymore. Maybe I fixed it. Maybe I I didn't. I don't know. We will uh, we will probably come back to this uh, mess later. It's fine though. How's my coverx? We got all these green stuff. I see another problem, by the way, over here. I'm not picking up the right belt because I'm taking over here only from the uh, left one. Um. Just put everything on the right belt here. There you go. This is going to fix it. For sure now. Right? I'm going to clean the belt. That way. Hmm. I'm already doing like 20. Oh, Solburn. What is PM at? Am I at already? I'm not building the mega base yet. Not yet. Uh, right now I'm at about 40. Uh, when my base is working. Which is, it's not because it's spaghetti, of course. And now uh, my, my, my rails um, and my trains are not that, that good. A lot of the time, maybe. 
Non blocking saves are neat. Yeah, I have every I think every minute right now, I think my auto saves. They're working nice. Although this save currently is pretty small, relatively small. It still like blocks for like 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 a hundred maybe milliseconds when it's like doing the forking for some reason. If I'm just staring at the map though, I'm not noticing it, only when I'm moving around. So like the science, 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 uh... The space science is 50 a minute in the last hour. We just launched another rocket a couple minutes ago. Uh, the other sciences are not going in. Let's continue the research though. Uh, so I am thinking about what? More physical damage? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking about right now. Being a spider, what do you think of the FFF? Mining productivity is the standard. Eh. Mining productivity is the standard when you're playing on the default settings. I... I'm not, like, low on resources yet. It's fine. I'm going to go into the productivity too. And I'm going to go into the worker robot speed too. I'm going to go into all the things, then the artillery too. After the 1000 base, you never feel low on resources. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Ba -da -da -ba -da -da. Uh, not enough logistic storage for this stuff. This is where we were. Um, yeah, I don't have the logistic storage there. Because I didn't plan for this to be destroyed. Let's go back there. Looks like the uh, splitter is another thing that was not built here. Uh, on the spiders. So my spider should have... This splitter. And the underground, I think, too. Because those are not coming in the train. No, undergrounds are coming in the train. I think I should just add a splitter here. In that case. You suggest uh, just uh, load instead of split. So it's in half belt instead of both sides. That was, uh, that's how it was working before. But I decided that I wanted to be on both sides. Load buffer, no. Okay. I broke everything again. Can I stop breaking things? Do you think at some point, maybe? Who knows? Maybe I will learn one day. Let's just do this here. Let's just do this over here, near the Martin Luther. Yeah, sure, why not? Do that.
have biters in my base. Yeah, they come through sometimes. That's why I'm 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 going to like upgrade the military things first because I want my artillery to be further out. Outside of the pollution cloud is the idea here. If I can do that, maybe you will learn the truth about spaghetti. <laughs> truth about spaghetti is that uh, it keeps adding the uh, uh, the things for me to do uh, hold, on, hold on hold on this this guy now like that Maintenance overhead. Uh, yeah, uh, there is maintenance overhead for spaghetti for sure, but still, it's more fun. It's fun maintenance, right? Why oh, is this train waiting? This one. Uh, this one is waiting because uh, I need to build this over here. Five things gone destroyed, ten. It's because the artillery is shooting, that's why I'm upgrading my physical projectile damage. Because I'm not killing the biters quick enough and they, and they are still spitting on me. I could have like, like the turrets on the other side, for example, but meh, I'll just increase the damage, it's fine, like let's see at this attack here, right, not dying quick enough, not quick enough, uranium ammo is strong but not strong enough. Do you like using stationery as an indicator to bring the big train? And the reason for the wagons instead of stationery is because I can pull them based on the condition. I, you, I cannot make the stationery ones stop shooting in case there is no ammo on this belt, for example. But if this runs out of ammo, then this Dude is just going to go away. At least it should work like that. Hmm. So yeah, right now the tr like this this thing, the artillery wagon, it's not here because I'm still unloading here, right? So once this uh, train leaves, once the station is fully built and doesn't need more ammo or like other things, only then the artillery is going to come. What happens if multiple trains want to go home? So. They uh, they still stop shooting is the important thing, because like even they, if they are still here, uh, because like the destination full is what they say they still stop shooting, right? I think. See this this one it says destination full so it cannot go for loading. And you saw the um, the gun will be like disabled now, basically. 
so it's not doing anything anymore. Even although it cannot go home, it this is the way to disable the artillery wagons. But you cannot do the same for the stationary ones. Do -do -do -do. You don't trust outposts, you prefer long walls, but in the case they would be too big. Outposts are not, like, the wall... I could do the wall, but like, I, I don't know. I don't... The outposts, they only will work if they are outside of my pollution cloud. And if they... Uh, so if... So eventually we only shoot the... Uh, the expansions, basically. If if this is inside my pollution cloud, then the biters can go through. But I want to get rid of all the turrets over here and just have the uh, artillery outposts outside. But I might need to like clear too much here because we are in a desert. Param, 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 param. So where's the other train like that? Unload, unload. This one. It's just being refilled. Yeah, because I'm shooting there. Makes sense, makes sense. Okay. Let's build another station here. Like I was planning to. Only labs are working nice. Speaking of that, I prefer not playing Death World again. Why not? In the late game, it literally doesn't matter whether you're playing the, the Death World or the uh, or the default settings, right? It only matters in the beginning. Right, I did an update to this blueprint too. With one more rail. This one, uh, go automatic. Power. You're done with the work and challenges? Yeah, I guess. If we do this a hundred times, then it would like, but, but at the same time, you still need to do like the early work if you start a new world, right? And I don't know. It, it just makes that short amount of the early game a little more interesting if you have the like the biter challenge. No? Otherwise you can just start with all the re uh like with all the technologies available, just do slash cheat all at the start of the new game. All this assumes that I'm playing. <laughs> True. Also, I need to build this uh, splitter. Now, I only wanted to build this one. 
don't build anything else. Hmm. <clears throat> I mean, at the same time, I could just, like... Uh, should I first, uh, like, make... Make a big science build and, and, and then try to clear the biters? Or should I clear the biters and then start the build? That's the question here, really. What should I do first? Build a new base, and then I just have it protected by the wall. How big uh, of the um, of the base do I even need? Can I fit my entire base like over here? I probably can, right? I don't know. I need to like start figuring out how much smaller uh, the things are going to be with the uh, with the beacons. No path. Oop. Oop. There are people who start death world with 100% illusion. Or 100% evolution. And a small starting area and has 600% biter. Wait, hold on, that's not possible. If you start with 100% evolution and small starting area and 600%, that's that's not possible. There is no way it's possible. Hold on. Is it? Nah, it's not. Nah, it's not possible. Will not have unless maybe you make your resources rich. Did Michael Hendrick do that? Illusion is the modifying of the masses. Mobifying of the masses. What's the mobifying? No, no, no. Starting with a hundred percent evolution. Oh, I mean, hold on. No, he did separately hundred uh, percent evolution. In the beginning, yes. But 100% evolution and small starting area and 100% biter at the same time, that's not what he did. What does this one says no path? Because I need that. Yes. Is this inside the construction area? It is. Boom 69% physical projectile damage. We are getting there. Um What's my shotgun doing now with one more damage upgrade? Am I one shotting the biter nests by this point or am I not? Let me try shooting this nest here. Nah, not one shotting them.
Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This one is enabled. This one is disabled. Sir condition. Anything is more than zero. But there is something that's more than zero. Why is this train... Why is this circuit condition not there? Oh, because I'm not sending to the train. There you go. Okay. I think I'm like... I forgot about that. Let's update the blueprint then. Maybe I just did it on accident. Unchecked that box. No path. Still no path. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can you even go anywhere? Oh, you cannot go anywhere. This needs to be deleted. There you go. <sighs> Figured it out. Missing yellow signs, yellow signs. Missing blue chips, blue chips. Missing red chips, red chips, missing green chips, green chips. Okay, actually, I am missing now the copper. Uh, I need to upgrade my copper stations. So I have upgraded so far the uranium and the iron and the coal, right? Let's upgrade the next trains. The copper ones. How many of those do I have? Seven. We're going to have uh, the weight stations in the middle here for all of them. The weight, 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 weight. And then, um, and then I'm going to need to upgrade all the stations. Let's upgrade the loading stations here. I mean, fine, I'm disabling that one. That one is fine with just disabling, I think. And then, load here. This one. Is not even being disabled. Let me upgrade that. And then... Uh, 
Um, 120. Well, now we're upgrading to the red belts. I'm going to upgrade to the blue belts immediately. I have researched everything. We're doing the space science right now. Uh, like, but I did not start making the, the new thing yet. Oh, look, I have 14 nukes. Nice. We can have some fun with nukes again. It looks like. Uh, we have 12 chests, we have two cargo wagons. Don't enable, set the train limit. Could it be that cover XL push prematurely? It's, it could also be that I have too many, like, over here. Yes, this one. This one is having too much. Because, uh, because I guess I don't need more, uh, power cells currently. Well, I guess it means, yeah, it means that this is like being stored, being stored, being stored. And then we have, uh, in this logistic network, 300 uranium. So when we go over 300 uranium, then we start producing the nukes again. Oh, actually, yeah, it, it does go here. Is that a bug that we're going there? I guess, uh, I, yeah, I guess because, like, if we are putting the full belt of the, um, of this green stuff. Yeah. Because I'm only putting on a half of a belt here. Maybe this belt is the one that should be upgraded. How's the new production make it go up? Yes, kind of design mistake. What? No, there is no design mistake. There is, it's working as intended, but like over here we have a little bit of design mistake, probably, because this can be like the full belt of the uh, of the green stuff that like goes over. I can probably not feed them from half of a belt. Yeah, I cannot. Let me see the cover X again. We need, as ingredients, to have 40 uranium-235. Yeah, 40 uranium-235 is definitely more than half of a belt, especially the yellow belt. Hmm. But um, I'm also like putting from the uh, inputting from the output here, you know. I mean, we have the uranium. We have the uranium. We have, we have it, right? It's working. It's working. Kind of, right? I'll just upgrade these belts at some point. Maybe I should upgrade them right now. Let's see. At least at least to the red, you know? Maybe at least upgrade them to the red belt. You know? Do you do need speed modules in cover X? No, not really. We mailize the space uh, the speed module so that it kick starts faster. But I guess at this point we can go back to productivity. Uh to efficiency. That's what I'm going to go. Pum 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 pum
<clears throat> Ten push ups again. All right. Do it slowly. I get. I didn't see the uh, the message. I don't see the chat when I'm doing the push-ups. Ah, uh, I do them slowly next time. Maybe if I remember. Uh, why slowly? I don't know. And um, you can also do them with claps. Take more from your stamina. Um, pum, 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 pum. Let's balance these chests. Maybe. Hmm. It works you out more if you do 10 slow push-ups and there's just 10 fast ones. Oh yeah, it does different things. Yes. Wait, why is this one disabled now? Everything is less than or equal. Or what about the equality? Hold on. Than or equal. Science is done, science is done. That's nice. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Why oh, is this one disabled? Everything. 12. 
less than or equal to A. What is A? A is this over here. This is the wrong wire. And connect this here. There you go. And then we want the last one then or equal everywhere. Right? So the average is six nine zero. Yep. Okay, I think this should work. <clears throat> Science is done. Um, am I shooting anywhere? Anymore? <laughs> Let's try doing this. Right? With this, uh, another level of upgrade. Let's take a look at the attack. On this outpost. Just one level is probably like not going to change it much though. The way we are handling the attacks. Let's see, here they come. Here they come. Then really quickly, then there's only speeders left. For sure. <clears throat> Alright, anyway. I guess we're going to see if a lot of things are going to die over there. And the um, artillery is going to start shooting. Ah. ah, sorry. Um, let's continue upgrading the um, the coppers. I think I want to inc incorporate this um, in the um, in this blueprint. I I only want to rename this from A because we have two A's now. One A is the total amount, and one A is the average. Um. <clears throat> So what should it be? What should it be? Um, and in this. A for total, T for average. I have already a T. T is the uh, is the train size. I can change the T. Then you have an M. M is the maximum. T is the train. I can I can I can replace some of these with these symbols though. So all the A's here, we can replace with a train. The entire train is uh, like this, for example. I can do that. So every A currently... No, hold on. Hold on. 
Ah, shit. I cannot control Z this. I wish I could control Z this one. Not the A, but the T. The T is going to be replaced with the train. There you go. T, T, T. 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 Um... And then... You like T? I like T too. Uh, I can change the L also. Let's just have all the things to be like... Like this. Uh, that one is going to be like the train stop. Or the limit. I mean, I consider it a lot better than the... Than that stuff. Uh, w is the wagon slots. C is the chest slots. S is the stack size. M is the maximum. F is the free. A is available. L is default in all the stations. Yeah, but I can change that. T is default on all the roboports for the total construction bots. Um, okay. So A is the average. Um, but over here, the A, I want to be like, it was available. Now total amount is T. Is there an icon for something? We can, we can, we can call total like the amount of items that we have, right? So like the item, the I, it could be the I also. Or items, maybe. Or something like that. Maybe I can. But the I can not one of the items that I actually have. Yeah, I mean, sure, let's do the T. T is the total items that we currently have. T. T. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Um... We do T, and then I want to have the average. And average is the T uh, divided by the amount of chests. Am I going to break anything here? Probably not. If I do this. Ah, shit, the control Z does not con... Does not, like... Total divided by the number of chests is the average in one chest. This is what we want. Control Z does not cancel the, uh, the wire connection. Kind of annoying. Okay, let me just make this one uh, a grid wire. Sure. I mean, it doesn't matter. Uh, okay. Let's do that. Good work, right? Right? Looks like we're still get killed here I stem something some wiring into existing combinators and there's no way to undo that yeah
Okay, that was almost not too bad. I think with like one or two more damage upgrades, we should be fine here. Hmm. The next one is 4,000 though. I can, uh, I can do something else first. This is the, like, okay. This is okay enough. Uh, artillery shell range. If I have more uh, space science. Do I have more space science? How many rockets did I launch? Last one was 30 minutes ago. There is space science on the belt. I think space science is not the problem. We have 1.5 thousand and plus something on the belt. The rocket progress is 100%. So the rocket is actually ready. We're just missing the. Uh, this stuff? I'm missing green chips still. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Green chips. Green chips. I, I have green chips. I have green chips. I think the green chips were only coming from this way. Probably. I just need to put the other green chips into the into the belt. I guess I'm putting them over here, but only if I'm not using this other stuff. Around here I have a bunch of red. A full chest of red. chest output priority on the uh, on the right make that I don't know like like over here maybe whatever no nope. that belt stack inserter this maybe that will fix it who knows? Alright. What should I go for? Artillery shell range, mining productivity. How much mining productivity is adding? 10%. Let's do the, the shell range plus 30%. There's also the rocket damage. Rocket damage is 4,000. Okay. I'll do that later. Okay, anyway. I was in the process of upgrading these things. Like This is the only one that's upgraded. Uh, stations. Load. I have this. This one I will not worry about. Because it's already like set up to be disabled. I think that's fine. And then... Upper or load um, this last station over here. 
It's also... Yeah, this one can be upgraded for sure. This one is literally like right next to each other. Why are those even two different stations? History reasons. It's fine. So here's what I'm going to do, right? I'm, we just do... We just do that. And then we just do that. And then I'm going to connect this over here. This and that does not need to be connected. The train is not enabled disabled. We set the limit to be equal to the train stop. And then we connect all the chests uh, to over here. Uh, so that we know now the average in this chest. We have total amount of 8000. The average is 1.3 because we have 6 chests. That's the wrong number. This should be 12. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did I do this? Uh, did I change the chest size here? I think I did, right? 12 chests, 2 cargo wagons. Yeah, okay. Uh, so yeah, we do, we set here 12 chests, 2 cargo wagons. Uh, that's the only things that like need to be set manually here. Connect that. And then, so this is already like automatically I don't, I don't need to like to set the wiring for the chest here because we have just this thing which should be working fine uh, so this means that's all I really need here okay good <clears throat> so now what is this what is this mess what is this mess I think we're missing a little bit of those All right, not too bad. Other than that, this is not really the a problem, right? Is it? I don't think there is a problem here. This is a beautiful path. Uh, stone. Stone is the other thing that we can upgrade. <clears throat> all right so all of our artillery are going to shoot at the at once and this is a uh, research right it's going to be fun how many of the destruction noise are we going to hear i wonder has anyone ever died like the entire base has been lost because they researched the artillery shell range because i can see that happening maybe can I? I kind of can see that happening. Scared you first few times? <laughs> But it had good wall and very late mega base. Yeah. But I mean, like, if if everything if if you do the artillery like that and like like let's say that this is my entire base for example, right? And I have my wall here and I uh, have artilleries all the way around for example. They are all going to shoot at the same time and I don't have enough bots to like fix the damage, for example. So they are going to actually break through the wall. Like, I can see something like that happening. Because, like, the bots are not going to be quick enough repairing the walls all the way around on the entire perimeter. Uh, 
it's a lot safer with me like the outpost because even if even when this outpost was destroyed here because this is was outside of my pollution cloud it, it didn't go further Might want to build another one of these. It looks like the trains are coming for for almost all of these stations already. Having another like stacker somewhere is not a bad idea, right? Let's see, let's build it on, like, on this side, for example. I can give it, build it on top of Spike. Spike's name is, like, exactly fitting here. Ahem. <coughs> I wish I could flip, though. I wish I could flip so that the train stops are on the other side here. I think I would want that. Your base uh, for very huge enter enter perimeter had artillery. I think four K by four K tiles, dense spider nest out of artillery reach. It, I was safe, researched, finished. I just minded my business, and suddenly the game started lagging. <laughs> Is my uh, FPS drops currently when I'm shooting the artillery? I think I think mostly it is not happening yet because only one artillery is shooting. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Okay. Excellent. Yes. So I can go from here this way, I can go that way, and I can go this way. Alright, nice. And then this needs an entrance from that way, and it needs an entrance from that way. That's it. That was a good... That was a cool... Why did it... Hold on. Why did this guy decide to turn around like this? It was coming to the right, and then it did a loop, and then it come, came to the right again. Ah, it's just because this is... Yeah, because because this is a stacker. They, they always go there. That makes sense.
Oh, that good point. Name this plaza. <laughs> Is the Veldek going uh, to pit here? Let's see. Yeah, it will it will fit for sure. <laughs> it's a <little> little darker. <laughs> So yeah, half of this is already like trains are going here and trains going there. So it means that less trains are going to go this way, um, which is kind of nice, I guess. Maybe, maybe. All right, fifty percent research is done. Uh, I am missing the red science is missing. Is this one faster? No, they're all 60, right? They're all 60. Except for this one. This one is 30 seconds. Is this one 30 seconds always? It is. It is. All right. And then the uh, the red science is not here because I don't have the iron. And the iron is not here because this is empty. And this is empty because... Iron ore. Let's say let's take a look at the ones that are doing unloading. I have a lot of iron. We can see this. 33 trains can be filled in my iron stations. Does it mean that I just need more trains? That's probably it, right? I like my trains. I just need more. I have six trains for iron. But I can do more. Maybe? Like this one is can do eight trains and it's just not receiving the train. Right? Let me just make sure that the train that has the train in it, the station that has the train in it, this one. Okay, this one is slow. This one is slow. I need uh yeah. Okay, let's let's do over here the thing. Uh, which calculates the uh, the average and, and shit like that. Okay, I'm going to redo this. This is also like the first attempt at me doing this uh, stuff. I'm going to change that completely right now. Uh, so I'm going to... Pain limit is that... Delete this, delete that, delete this, delete this. Uh, all the contents are connected with each other. I'm going to do this little thing. Before the base is destroyed. If you want, I can put your name right next to the artillery so that it is destroyed for sure. You want to be destroyed? This, that... So we have... Uh, we are doing on both sides. So we have uh, 24 chests. And we have two... Cargo wagons. Right? This is the loading station, so yeah, total divided by locomotive is the thing. Four K.
Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That sounds correct. Zero trains here. Uh, but for this one, uh, because I saw the train like standing here, I want I want better balancing of the chest because this balancer is not good. I can either do a better balancer here, or I can do the balancing with the inserters like I did in the other place. Since we have the average here now, I, I think I will do that instead. This one is going to be enabled if the uh, if everything is less than or equal um, than the average. Why am I only using the blue, the yellow bells? Um, because I'm not upgraded yet. I will upgrade uh, at some point. I'm not really in a rush, though. Uh, so right now they only do the empty, and then the average is over here. I want to connect that to these guys. Okay. Right? So the average is 57. Ah, shit, I connected to the wrong place. Because this one is pointing upwards, so the output is over here, actually. Um, that should work now. Right? And this should balance out my all of my chests. Alright, I'm going to... I, I, I did, like, the thing, though. I did the, the red belt somewhere. I have it, I think. Do I... Where did I do the the red belt? Anyone anyone knows? Anyone remembers? Let's do the name. These A's are, um, how do you say it? Beautiful. Yeah, that's it. That's right. So right of where you just looked? Somewhere around here, I think I placed it. It was just right next to some RoboPort. I mean, technically it doesn't matter, like, where it is, really. All I need is to open the logistic and see the uh, belts here. I have 200, there you go. So we can... Uh, I was going to upgrade this. This was my plan, right? So upgrade this over here. Upgrade the uh, yellow to the red belt. And I don't even need all of the belts. I want this specifically, right? Yo, I have 23 nukes, by the way. <clears throat> I can go nuke a little bit. Is that a threat? Also, I want to see my shotgun. My shotgun maybe now one shots the nests, right? Does it? Maybe. 
Let me try on this small expansion over here. What's my shotgun doing? I did one shot the nest, nice. What about the behemoth biter? <clears throat> nook, 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 nook. That's nice. I'm kind of clearing the territory really quickly here. By those nooks. That's animal abuse. Probably the quickest death you can give them. <laughs> Which means it's a good thing. Might be out of rockets here uh, for the spider trons. Not sure if I need the rockets though. I have the nukes. I think I only have two nukes left though. That's it. I could just clear my entire pollution cloud. I just need to build the the artilleries though. Okay, three more. Three more. I'm not going to spend them on these small nests, though. That, like, doesn't make sense. And the last one. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Don't die. Cliff explosive.
I need to clear like the remaining small things. If there is anything left here, even. Are they coming up from here? Am I seeing red dots on the map? Alright, 88%. I think it's like 4 rockets that was shot at that behemoth, so I'm killing them in 4. If I saw it correctly. Ninety percent. Ninety-three. <clears throat> Well, what should I look at, like, on the map overview? Because we're going to see the uh, all the shots being made at the same time, right? Would it, would it be not more fun if we, instead of researching the artillery shell range right now, if I cancel this, and then I research the artillery shooting speed first, and then we finish this, the range. Isn't that going to be more fun? Because I only have like one artillery on every outpost. Uh, how much is this giving me? Plus hundred percent shooting speed. It's basically like having two artillery shells, right? Two two artillery turret turrets. So like twice as much fun, right? All right, let's take a look here. What is going to happen? Which one is the best one to look at? Probably like these two. Or no, hold on, hold on. These ones, these ones. These ones are going to shoot. And we're going to have the huge attack groups. Probably like, yeah. These ones are going to be attacked a lot more. And these. And we have that. This one does not have an artillery for some reason. Nice. 
Nice. Everyone is shooting. Let's see. Let's see. <clears throat> Is this going to kill me? This one is small, but this attack, and then there's one more, and then there's one more. So like, we'll see, over here. Right? I mean, I'm just re replacing the turrets too quickly here. Oh, this. This one is like the old one with the not the rounded corner yet. That one might, might have a bad time. But even this one is doing fine. So the only thing is, this is not the upgraded uh, blueprint, which means that we might like run out of ammo here. Uh, because like this train, this is still shooting, even though it should stop technically. Because we are calling in for the wall supply train. Probably will be fine though. This one doesn't even have any behemoths. Yeah, I don't know. Looks like we are surviving. Looks like we are surviving easy here. Uh, but I need to resupply all the walls. That's why this artillery is not coming back yet. Do, 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 do. I think my game didn't even lag, right? Yeah. Yeah, we, we need like a couple shooting speed upgrades and then upgrade the range. Ugh. Or I could make this to have uh, two artillery wagons because it could fit here two artillery wagons if I want it All the construction bots in this one are dead. 
Hold on. This might be the end of this outpost. I think there is another one that is being destroyed currently. No? Uh, I guess it has survived. What's up with this one, though? This is a, a speeder that is doing nothing. I don't understand over here though. I don't understand this one. This train has empty cargo inventory or circuit more than zero, right? But this circuit, anything more than zero, there is something that's more than zero. Oh, send to train. That's what was missing, yes. Okay. Temporary invalid. Why is there a temporary? There should not be a temporary. Okay. I guess that's what was missing from all of these all this time right that's what i fixed just uh just a moment ago so, okay I, I think the new ones should be fine though i think the new ones should be fine also technically this can already be replaced but it's not Uh, I think it's gonna be fine. Uh, Alright, anyway. Uh, do I have more space science? Let's see. Did I launch a rocket? I don't even know if I launched a rocket or not. Space science over here. I have 2,000 space science. In this chest. And I have... Uh, 800 more. I have like 3,000 right now. And the rocket is at 15%. I have two satellites. Nice. Uh, like, I can't do mining productivity. I can. Uh, or we can do even more artillery shooting range. Speed? I don't. I don't feel like I need this speed, right? Because, like... Yeah, speed I think I don't need. It's fine. Uh, I mean, eventually it will be like a lot cheaper than the other things, so I will do it anyway. But I, I think that's not a priority. The shell range is so that I need to place less outposts. We can go there or increase the damage even more. Uh, those all cost the same. Um, let's do productivity of the mining. And then the shell, artillery shell range. Let's do like that. <clears throat> da -da. Okay, copper ore low destination pool. Let's let's see. So I actually don't have any more copper. Right? It looks like we are doing it too slow. So let's go and get more resources. Uh yeah, let's do that. Let's go here and connect collect all of these. Dum, 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 
Tum, tum, tum. from over here I'll go diagonally this way And this over here is wrong. It's not needed. This one should be connected to that stuff. Um, um, um. space to do this here which I think is fine Six point five thousand per minute green circuit city block finished. Almost no wasted space. Mm, nice. Nice, nice, nice. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm going to have uh, three stations here. It looks like. Uh, this is going to have... Be like that. Let's see... I go this way. Let's say that the copper is going to be here, or the iron. I don't know. Matter. Um, and then <clears throat> and I have this. Here, I can do both actually. Let's just do a separate one for every one of these. Why not?
Let's do this. Add that. And then I want one more. Uh, one more. It's going to be for for that. <clears throat> okay. Um, let's start with this thing. Do I need speed modules here instead? Two speed modules instead. I'm using speed module ones though. Because that's what I have on me, whatever. going to ignore this for now. Um, actually, you know what? Why am I doing this? If I need copper right now, it means that I should make the copper first, right? Plan to clear these guys. So that I will not be polluting. I'm basically not polluting them already. Maybe I'll move the artilleries. Let's see. All supply load. Oh buffer unload. I want to unload two currently. But right, anyway, this, that.
I guess I will do this one just further out. Uh, uh, that. Copper ore. Load. Let's see. Two. <clears throat> No one just left, and we now only have 68 viewers. No mineable resources already. We just like three copper over there. Okay, there you go. We are going to load on all the sides here. This, uh, these are all connected to each other. We connect them in between two, and then I'm going to have this thing and then that is going to be connected here and that is going to be connected here and this train limit is going to be set to the train stop and i'm going to have the power and i need to set the number of chests to 24 and the number of cargo wagons to two uh, stm hello hello push up time <clears throat> All right. Uh, here we go. Did it? Tyrannosaurus Hex with a huge raid. Hello, 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 guys. How are you doing? Thank you very much. How was your stream? For any readers, we are doing here. Push-ups. Um, I don't know if you saw that. No. No, you just read it. We just did some push-ups. But also, we are doing the Desert Death World. And uh, we're doing a run where we have specific rules. The most important ones are probably no flamethrower turrets. Uh, and no landmines. Not bad. Maybe finish 1k vanilla run. Wait, what? Did you finish one cave and nil run? It's nice. I did that too. Recently. Did you do it on the default settings? How long did it take you? Haven't proved it yet, but yeah, basically. Everything default, no mods? Nice. Just like I did it. Which is which is the main reason why I don't why uh, the oh wait one k SPM not one k multiplayer oh okay <laughs> oh okay no I mean one k SPM is also not bad I never did that uh, except for one k multiplayer but I don't think. But, uh, but we didn't do the, the rocket there. Uh, so, yeah. In this one, I plan to have uh, multiple thousand SPM. But I'm not there yet. <clears throat> You've never done it before? 
Before vanilla only gimmick run. Uh, yeah. There are other things that I am not doing before. So, like, is your base beaconed? That's the things that I have never used before, basically, ever. Maybe, like, just a couple. For this run, I plan to try and utilize those, actually. Vanilla beacons are gross. <laughs> yeah, they are. But I want to, like, try building with them at least once. You know? Um, even I mean, here, here's what I did so far. Over here. The rocket control fuel. Look, look at how fast this, this thing goes. This quick. Crafting speed is 8. Last 540%. And as having productivity inside, I could put speedy modules inside there too, right? Ah, uh, yeah. Like, imagine the entire base being like, done like that, right? <clears throat> Alright, anyway. This over here is one more uh, copper mine and I'm going to build one more copper mine now over here right next to this one boom, boom, boom. was the efficiency module relevant in the death world going it matters a lot for the evolution I guess uh, in the early game. Not under, uh, not after the behemoths, though. After the behemoths, it matters for the amount of the attacks. Uh, my plan is to have basically the perimeter of the artillery outposts around my entire pollution cloud. And my pollution cloud is going to be much bigger than that because that's just the starter base. <clears throat> Did you see the Friday fact where they show the 2500% speeded machine making gears? Yeah. Okay, guys, here we go. I'm using a, I'm using a, a proper balancer, right? This one is proper balancer, right? I, I think so. I'm not going to check. Are you guys proud of me? Do the same shit. Loading on both sides. This is fine. In one split. You're right. You are totally right. Let's move this. Now oh, I'm embarrassed. 
I should have continued what I was doing before, which is not using the balancers. This is fine. Um, all right. Do I have a locomotive on me? I do. Is it faster if I go on a train? Or if I go on the... We'd be... Thank you for the follow. Or if I go on the Spider-Tron. Let's just go on the Spider-Tron. Anyway. I uh, go here. Fine. Actually, no. These guys have been killed already. Let's go refill myself first. Yay, he fixed something. I'm going to fix everything. Oh, Heart of the Worm needs to be fixed. The chicken needs to be fixed too. my science missing the uh, blue let's take a look at the blue science blue science we are not having the red chips red chips we're not having the copper copper is not here wait where was copper coming from to here from the bottom from the bottom from over here i think this is the copper line this over here is the copper line. This is the smell tree of the copper, which is coming from this belt over here. This train stop. This train stops has the limit of zero, which doesn't make any sense. What even is that? I need to fix that one. How did that even happen? Let's take a look. Can we have Tyrannosaurus picture? <laughs> How would I draw that? If that's the chicken... Then the Tyrannosaurus... Alright, I will try my best here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see, we're going to have uh We're going to have the head. And we're going to have uh the body. Uh like that. A tail. A couple legs. Those legs should probably not be that big though. It should be small. And then we have the body like that. And we're going to have the hands. Those are the hands, right? I need to fix the the mouth though. What do I do about the mouth? Huh. We call this program MS Pipe. Yeah, there we go. Is this what the gaming looks like? Exactly. Let's fix all the small issues.
She's outside of the range, right? Alright, there you go. This T Rex is bogging. <clears throat> Nice. Alright, uh, back to what I was actually doing. This train stop is completely broken. So what are we doing here? 28k minus each. Output into each. Of course this doesn't work. If this is empty, then each is empty, so I'm not going to have 28 here. Alright, I'm going to redo that. Use my blueprint, this one. Okay, this one is for the top station, so this one is going to be for the bottom station. So once again, we're setting the amount of chests to 12, because this is 12 chests. The amount of cargo wagons for this one, and the stack size of an item, which is 50. And then I just connect all the chests uh, to the input over here. And then I connect the output over here to the station to set the train limit. Which is, uh, which is this. So this uh, needs to be powered. And then... This is the loading station. So the, it should not be T here, T for the total amount in this chest, F for the free uh, space. So free space divided by the train size is the train limit. There you go. We can load seven trains here. Nice. Uh, that should work now. Yeah, I should like remember that like we, we need to set the constant combinator and uh, this is either like the total or, or the free based on whether we are loading or unloading here. Does anyone know, since we have like people here, you guys probably know how the Factoria works, right? So there is a lot of combinators, right? But at the same time, this is uh, these combinators, they uh, like, let's say that we have a constant combinator and then a constant combinator and then I have an arithmetic combinator or something. It is like multiplying uh, like those things together, right? So, like, since this input is uh, to the combinator is constant, this does not technically need to be updated, right? Does it affect the UPS or not that I have this at all? Even although this can be just replaced with just one constant combinator, which is doing the arithmetic, which, like, with the hard-coded arithmetic. Gets evaluated only once on the change of the values. All right, so this does not affect the UPS then, right? Does it? The only thing that is going to be actually calculated here is the is this thing, the uh, T. But at the same time, hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe, maybe I need to like rewire these things so that. The last things here need to be like where where is it being used? There. Yeah, I guess I could like change a little bit here. These wires are spaghetti. I'm not going to touch them actually, never mind. Uh, it does not affect UPS, timer will. Uh, but it's minimal. Yeah, but like if I have a hundred stations like this, right? Or a thousand stations like this, how many stations do you have in your base and how much combinators do you have? Hmm. 
When you have condition reaction to the timer value, the rest of the network gets evaluated only when the value changes. Okay, so if you recalculate but it evaluates to the same value, it does not need to like further update the rest of the system. Okay, nice. So it doesn't just flag things for update, it only flags it if the output has changed. I mean, that makes sense, makes sense. Okay, I want to finish this, since I need copper. out of the efficiency modules here. I guess. Dun, 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 dun. All right, let's do the oil too. Although I'm not sure if I need oil. Do I? I think I don't. Yeah, looks like I don't. Let's connect it anyway. Like I had some belts not working. Let me see. That's true. It's true. It's because I moved it by one, but I didn't reconnect properly. Okay, nice. Uh, this is not protected currently. Why did this guy decide to bite the rail? That doesn't make any sense to me. There's so many things to bite on and uh, he decided to go for the rail. Okay. Let's go fight and move the artillery here uh, further down.
Um, somewhere over here, probably. I will just move it over here. Smoking 52. Thank you for the follow. Here? Sure. Let's do it here. Oh no. Oh no. I have been built on top of... They have built things on top of me. I thought that cannot happen. How did I... How did that even happen? And like, I can even move between these things. But when they built on top of me, I could not at all. No, 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 no. I don't want that to be built. That should be built by the train. anymore hmm this artillery it's going to do the work um and then here I will clear a little bit myself. Mm-hmm. 
so the pollution cloud over here is not touching anyone and uh, I'm kind of covering Uh, with the artillery I'll move this one further out too and this one hello I built it a little bit too close I'll just push them a little bit further. I thought this was like far enough, but I guess not. This should be far enough now, right? <clears throat> The station looks like a palace in the map. How so? I don't see it. I don't see it. Your imagination is um is better than mine, I guess. Can't I see it? I can't see it. Uh, so yeah, we have iron, we have coal, that we don't have, and we have the uranium too, we don't have enough of the copper yet. Uh, I think I need more trains for that, by the way. And what I, that's what I need for sure. Uh, I need a, like, a station where I build trains. That's what I need. That is what I need. Let's do a station like that. I mean, I will not need to build a lot of trains here, because I'm going to use less than what I usually do. Probably. Because of that other system, right? I just do something like this somewhere. I can I can just like this is the train that I want to copy, right? There you go. I'll just do this. And then we make them go to the right. One, two, three, four, five. This will be enough, right? Uh, I mean, even four will be enough, I think. Red, six, thank you for the follow. Let's just do this, and then I need to, like, power these trains. The new trains that I'm going to build. With a solid fuel, sure. Uh, just do, just do this and that, and this and that, this and this and that, this and that. Another robot port over here. Power. Hello, power.
Like power is needed for these guys to work too. Uh, lamp. Must be lamps. Good. Destination full. My artillery. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I'm out of explosives because I'm out of sulfur because I'm out of petroleum because I'm out of oil. This is 130, so uh, now. Uh, uh, do I just do the speed modules on these and I should be good? I think so, right? I think I just do the speed modules there. Logistic request, speed module 350. Where's my speed module 3? Do I even make it? Uh, am I even making the 50? If only I could find shit in my base. Yeah, I do. I have 68. Almost 69. Nice. Ugh. Oh, hold on. There's a rack further down, it seems. And I'm not going to be making any more signs because of that. The blue signs is not working anymore. But I have 2,000 space science in that chest. And another rocket is ready to launch. Wait, hold on. But why is this... Rocket? Not launching right now? Waiting to launch rocket. I have the uh, satellite here. Why is this not launched? This one is disabled by control behavior. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. I'm only launching the rocket if this is uh, empty. If this is an empty one. Yeah, works as intended. Right. As intended. Nice. I, I forgot what's like the condition on the inserter was. Uh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, uh, let's go here, replace these with the speed module. There you go. If this is not going to be enough... Two, uh, then I can also place the... Um, Uh, 
the beacons here. Which maybe I will right now. I just do the beacon. Like here. And here. Speed. Speed 3 here, here, here. Alright. I'm not sure how much I want here. Uh, but I think I built exactly... So, like, I want all of these to start working or something, right? Did you hear bacon? Yeah, we're baconing this thing. Is this enough beacons? This will probably be enough beacons. Maybe, potentially. I just need to get more. Alright, looks like the copper is coming and then there's another train on the way already. Oh shit, no, 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 no. This train wants to go here. Uh, I guess we are missing a connection like this. Which would be nice. Then I can make a connection like that too. Because I don't want this to go like this path. Oh geez, that intersection. It's amazing, right? What's my best intersection so far? Hmm. I'm not even sure which one is the best one. Get all these cover X. Not all of it is working yet. Reduction of the uranium. This one. There you go. Look at that line. Aesthetics are for front ends. No, what do you mean? This is the aesthetics. I'm going on power. 350. Alright. Th that's already a, a much better amount. So this is just because of the speed modules and the couple because that I already placed. But we want uh, to see a full belt here.
right? More, more beacons. Is that it? Number of effect sources, 11. 8, 7, 6. So we're slowly feeling these chests which is good I just want to unload the chests more evenly though condition is every if everything is uh, more than or equal to the average and the average is uh, we have that calculated over there and right Probably needs to like be upgraded to the tag inserters though. In this case, you completely forgot cliff explosives. I'm using them all the time. I was literally just using them a second ago, right? Like over here, I was placing this, and there was an explosive that was like a cliff that was exploded. I have 80 of them on my hotbar right now, over here. I am considering though for the uh, for the next time, like not using them at all for more spaghetti. Because, like, I increased the amount of cliffs in this world, in the map settings, so that we could have more spaghetti. But then I just unlocked the uh, cliff explosives. You know? Okay. Technically, I can also just connect the. Uh, this is what nukes are made for: <laughs> cliff destruction. Yeah. Do uh, the, the the rules for the next challenge should be that we only delete the. We, you can only delete the cliffs using a nuke. Yeah. Not allowed to use the normal cliff explosives. Uh, the trains are stopped. They're just chilling here. I don't know.
I think they will sort themselves at some point. Wait, hold on. The reason is that this train is stopped here. It says destination full. It is not even like on, on this shit. Because wall supply and load. Or something like wall supply. Wait, what? How did this even happen? Why is this? Why is this train over here in the middle of nothing? It was um, probably going towards the. Nah. It doesn't make any sense here. Wall unload. It's the train stop was like disabled after. While I was going there. Right? That's what happened. I have a fake train stop here. Because I wanted that for some reason. But I don't remember why. I did not want them to skip the thing. Yeah, I know why exactly. It's because like... Yeah, alright. But how could this train stop become disabled while I was coming there? Because that does not make much sense. The train stop is going to be disabled if I don't have stuff there. So if I don't have stuff there, how does this the stuff become to like be there? Because the only way for me to increase the amount of items is by coming... Is by the train that is going to come there. Well, supply and load. All of these also have like one, the limit of one. The trains try to fill stuff, one arrives, the other gets stuck. But this cannot happen because I have the train limit of one. Right? Maybe the game didn't update the station and the train in the same tick. Can this happen? If it happens in the same tick, the train would not stop in this location. Because this location where it was stopped is the... It means that, like, it, it, it went from over here, from this station, the loading station, to over here already. Which, like, which takes, like, three seconds, maybe. Or maybe more, maybe like five or ten seconds here, even. I don't know. Anyway, if I have the copper here now, it means that the copper is here. It means that the uh, blue science is all working now. So the, uh, the research is continuing. Nice. The copper has been increased. Uh, the only thing is that I am not protecting these with turrets. So hopefully I'm not going to die there. Or I will need to like come back there myself manually. Uh, Alright. The artillery stations are going to be like... Working fine here. Now that that train... Like, if, if that train doesn't, like... Like, I need to figure out what happened there. If it happens again. Hopefully it just doesn't happen again, though. But, I mean, if it happened once, it means that it will happen again, right? How? Like, I don't... I don't understand what happened. Mm 
Okay, that thing is all working now. So the trains are not coming here. Um. Oh wait, hold on. I, but I was building more trains like that. Yeah. Go trains. Let's build uh three more copper trains. Because why not? Stations. The iron trains, we can do more of those too. Although it doesn't seem like I need them. <clears throat> so this number over here means how much is my buffer of uh of iron. I will I have 40 trains that I can load right now. Oops. What happened here? How long ago did that happen? Missing signals? No, not the missing signals. There was uh, the the biters ate my locomotive there. Hmm, that's what happened. Um, yeah, because I don't have the wall. I only have the perimeter of the um, of the artilleries. I'm going to try and continue like that. Let's just kill these nests for now. I mean, it's just like, the train really just got unlucky there. <laughs> That's fine. see the wall wall unload so all the walls are currently supplied nice let's build another artillery over here uh, down over here go in between these resources and like build the artillery like like over here maybe
Good enough. Good enough. Yeah, enough. Enough good. I show my Spider-Tron layout without sure. They have uh, one fusion reactor, three exoskeletons, three energy shields, and two robot ports. That's it. Uh, technically, you can see me slowed down here, so if I put a battery there, then I would not be slowed down because when my energy shields are recharging, my exoskeletons can't work fully. So I could like, for example, instead of these two energy shields, put a, two batteries here, for example, would be nice. Or instead of one of these robot ports also. Let's build it over here. Let's kill this. And that stuff that is a little too close. Alright, now good. Um, Hold on, let me make sure, yes, in, in my new blueprint it's fine, but some of the old outposts, they are like... Missing this uh, checkbox.
There you go. They actually did attack this. Uh, I need to connect the power there too. Um, where did they attack from though? From here? Can they attack this from above? Because they can. Because this game... Uh, how does it work, actually? So whenever the pollution is produced by something over here, right? It increases the number and then, like, it goes, uh, like, some way. Until it hits something. Right? Like, they technically can decide to attack this from, like, the very, very, very far away. If my pollution cloud was like this, right? Waiting at load, which means that I don't have something. This train is rotated again. Oh, it's because like it's that train that was like bl like in a weird spot. <laughs> okay, train that was in a weird spot. Uh. And to rotate it again. Let's do this. And then I go into unload. With this to be being in the front. All 20 stops are inaccessible. Hold on. Yeah, because I disabled. That's not the correct place to be. Uh, okay, fine. I will. We go here. Is it wrongly loaded? Uh, it's only like has a repair pack over there, which is not a big issue. With just one stack of repair packs is like whatever. I'll do this and then I go into load. That should fix it, I think. Because this is the front train, front train like this. Because I'm not going to go backwards because this is a one way track now. Yeah. This is going to be the front, which is how it should be here. Okay. All right. It's a full stack, it's okay. Even if it's not a full stack, it's okay. Because it will be like... Uh, output from there anyway. Because these chests, they don't care which wagon the item is in. As you can see, I'm trying to pull the conveyor belt from the, from the cargo wagon with the ammo. They, they, this station does not care. So it's going to put it out and it's going to filter it anyway. Oh, half stack is cargo never full. True. Uh, 
But it was a full stack because like it wasn't the the inserter wasn't working there, so I think it's fine. Wait and see. I'm waiting and I'm seeing. I mean, this is already. Yeah, see, it just it just left this station. It works. It works for now. Mining productivity 4 is almost done. All the labs are working full speed. Nice. No, this one is not. Red science pack. No copper. No copper. Red science. Copper over here is coming from this... Tr Oh, this is coal. Where is copper coming from? From here. From here, from here, from here. Over there. From over here. This is the station. There you go. I found it. I should do this one. Uh, also... Differently... I guess, I mean, I'm currently, like, uh, waiting for this to be filled, which is almost done. Just one train is left, and we can continue working on this thing. But I should probably... Should probably make this one. Have that stuff, too. Uh, There you go. And I could do the same stuff. Unload these. Because why not? balance the chests all right artillery shell range 2 is being researched uh, next one is going to be 8000 maybe at that point I will go for something else Uh, 
Uh, did they kill... Oh, hold on, hold on. It looks like they came... Like, if this is destroyed, it means that they probably came from the right. Right? There was a raider here. It says destination full. Also, I can just continue shooting here. This one was just trying to go away because... Uh, this one says destination full. Because this one is working. Yeah, okay. Yeah, makes sense, makes sense, makes sense, makes sense. <clears throat> Nothing wrong. Uh, nothing wrong. This one is disabled because I did something wrong here. This one should be enabled. If oil is more than 25k. Oh, that's right. I just need to do this. Enabled. Station has been receiving copper, so the red signs should continue working here in a second. I think I will delete this, by the way. Let's make this one rotate it to the to, to the other side, so that all the copper goes towards the the signs and not not wasted here. Even worse, it may take a half of a stack from a full stack and never refill. Hold on. You're right. I think. This one is not going to put it. 22 is there. That's what's going to happen. You're right. And this one is never going to be refilled again. Uh, I'll wait for that train there. Oh. Remote pod fix. While it's out there. I mean, hold on. Yeah, it's closer to go this way than to go that way. It's still be it's still like unloading the ammo so I'm just going to come here and take this repair packs out Your the blueprint can change the band so it gets taken out. Ah. 
I'm just going to come here. And has more chances for me to break something here. I can. I, I guess I could like change this inserter to like not set the filters, but like just have the filter of that, right? It would like take it out then. <clears throat> I need to have a blueprint, you know what, for the future that we're going to see, hopefully, at some point. Uh, I need this blueprint to have, like, this line over there ready for it so that I will send uh, the Spidertrons, like, somewhere and I place the blueprint and it will, like, connect the, uh, the rails to the existing rails already. Right? Something like that. Pollution is taking off compared to earlier today. I mean, it's it's not like... It's not going over, over here, though. Still. Still about the same size, I think, in this direction. About the same size. Uh, this over here was placed at the edge of the map though. So yeah. This way. It has been like. Grown this way. Fast stable inserters. What does that mean? I could use the stack inserters here. If that's what you mean. They are stack filter inserters. But it's fine. Not necessary. Oh wait, hold on. I think I see now what you meant. Whoever <laughs> whoever said that this outpost looks like a <laughs> I see it now. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> the stations are the balls, yeah. <laughs> now you see it as well. Alright. That's not my fault. That's the fault of the person who said it first. <laughs> Penetrating deep into the enemy territory. I mean, technically, like, it's, uh, it's directed into my base. And not into the enemies. Hmm. Alright, anyway. 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 Anyway, um, this thing... Um... This thing only shot 15 shots and then, uh... And it's trying to go back because I'm only requesting 5 
of the uh, of the turrets but those five of the turrets are now gone no hold on it's not the turrets hold on what am i missing here wait i'm missing nothing this one is enabled Why did it try to go back then? Why does it not just continue shooting? Let me watch it again. Does it get disabled for a second and then like... Can it be the repair packs? If all the repair pack bots are going to repair the repair packs that are in their hands don't count towards the the logistic they take out and then they bring it back which disables the station and enables it back so the train trials tries to go out even although technically not necessary although i mean Do they put 55, uh, use like all of those 55 repair packs though? Sounds like that's a lot. Amazing. Let's see over here. It is disabled and the train goes away. There you go. When all of these guys go to repair exactly at this point. Wait, so one... Oh, it's because one... It's because one construction robot can hold more than one repair pack in its inventory, right? What's their inventory size? Four. Uh, three. Plus three is three. I think, like... No, hold on. Plus three means four? I got full upgrade. Yeah... So it means that if 10 robots go, then, and then like it's 50 is the, the repair packs. Should I just request more repair packs because of that? Because this sounds like a, this looks like annoying. Because it could continue shooting here. Not really a problem. Well, no, hold on. Now we are missing the ammo. Also, probably more ammo is good because like 200 ammo is being used quickly here. But at the same time, I'm not really like trying to use these artilleries for the um, for the clearing of the biters. I'm more like trying to use them as my wall, which is like after we clear all the biters they are going to kill the expansions which is not going to use that much anymore so should be fine should be fine we have all the artillery ammo now to here Uh, I'm waiting for the supply train. Let's see, this one is not going for the supply because I don't have the inserters. No, it's because this one is waiting for space in destination. Did I not change their stack, their hand stack size to be one? I think I did. It's probably it's probably still because of that train that was like broken there, right? Different item holding something that's full. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought I changed their stack size, their hand size to one. Which means that this should never happen. Uh, other than maybe like that one broken train. 
over right hand stack size stack size to one that's what i do here right so like how why does this even take the medium power pole that should never like happen right why is this one right now holding the wall How can that happen? It could happen if I have like the same item in multiple chests, but that's not the case. Maybe you've moved train once it was holding the item. Yeah, maybe it yeah, it's probably like because of that broken chest, maybe or um, broken train. Hi Kui, as you know, my presence is more than the mere chance. It's a revelation, a whisper, a prophecy in echoing through the ages, heralding the dawn of new times yet to unfold. Indeed. Are you hyped for the ludum there? Look at my look at my wallpaper, Pomo. I didn't do it. I just I just downloaded something from the LD Jam website. I did not do it. But it's impressive that I have downloaded it. I agree. Hmm. You know, like preparing for the event before it started by downloading a, wa a wallpaper. That's impressive. Mm -hmm. The fact that these guys hold the ammo in their hands is not a problem. And these guys, they don't hold anything in their hands. That's how it should be. <sighs> Are you open to looking at playthrough proposal? Just an idea or a component of one you already want to play? Okay. Sure. Sure. Fantastically, ugly, fully spaghetti. Factory challenge. Estimate how much time it takes to build a spaghetti base up to 50 SPM or reduce the duration by other variables. Every word that I cost, every word that I has a cost matching the duration. Reward when redeemed will freeze your factory. You must work from now on by copy wasting chunks of the frozen factory, building rails in between, and maybe now there was any segments. Reward will be redeemed by the first viewer who has watched the longest, so it could probably come down to minutes. Uh, I don't know. You still, you still want me to copy paste my spaghetti factory, right? That's what you're trying me to do. Make me do, just make this. And like, since this works somewhat, we just want to be able to copy paste that. Nah, I don't know. Uh, the spaghetti is like, is the best when it's not copy pasted. Yeah, I can copy the chunks, but... Eh.
Looks like this over here is now really busy. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I'm not I'm not a big fan of that idea. I can't I don't see it. I don't see it. You can try that though. There's art in creating something which looks like pasta, but it's copy pasteable. Oh, I am copy pasting things here sometimes already. What is this train? What is this? What is this over here? It's good that I noticed this this little train. I need to work on clearing the biters. But it got attacked. Of course it got attacked. That's the only way it can happen. You don't care about specific creature if there are other criteria that force spaghetti and disallow pattern blueprints. I think the uh, I think the uh, the cliffs and the disallowing of uh, the of like destroying the cliffs is going to probably be enough. Because you will need to build around them. Like we have a bunch. Like there is like some free spots where you can do the copy pasta, right? Of the bigger chunks. Like over here, there is no cliffs really. I don't know. Maybe I need to increase the amount of cliffs even more. But this is already the maximum frequency, so I, I don't know. can be destroyed if run over a behemoth biter by impact yeah if the train touches a biter which we you, you saw this body here right then the other biters are going to attack the train they also attack some of these rails apparently All my trains are stopped now. Amazing. Or did they just so happen? Here. Most of them are, are in this area now. Because of the stacker.
The noise a lot different from the effects of your own hand. Well, there is also another thing that you can do in addition to the cliffs. You can make, like, you can, for example, try not to destroy the forest. We have the minimum amount of trees in this run, but, like, in the normal run, there is a bunch of trees, and you, like, need to build around them and not cut them down. That can also spaghettify the thing does moving uranium spread pollution <laughs> now rains do no they don't that's false that's that's a lie the trains they have been coming over here and there is no pollution here You would need to find people that want to play the same way as you to to make speedrun category. Uh yeah. I'm not trying to speedrun though right now. Uh -huh. Okay, I know I know exactly the solution to this problem. We add more rails. That's a solution. That's a very good solution, right? And actually, I'm going to like disable this line over there. And this one is going to go over here too. Yeah, 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 there you go. Amazing. Amazing. I figured it out. Hmm. <clears throat> Next playthrough, no bots. A viewer help only? What do you mean viewer help only? No bots is, uh, is nice. Yeah. No logistic bots. I guess. Construction bots are fine.
I think. No? I'll, I'll, hold on. No, no, no. If we don't, if we don't do construction bots, then copy pasting is like harder. But at the same time, like when we do the X one thousand, I I was building things in a less spaghetti way just because it's faster to build without construction bots. So like technically, construction bots are better for spaghetti. Right? Because then I don't care if it's hard to build. If I need to like aim things and stuff. Uh, like, except for the belts, I guess. Multiplayer, no boss, your viewers are your boss. Is there a multi is there a mod where you can uh, only allow certain players to build on top of ghosts? Streamers still fail. What do you mean? What do you mean I fail? I succeed. This over here, you see, this is what we call success. This is success. For sure. I don't see any failures anywhere. <clears throat> How's my signs going? I am missing the yellow. Yellow. It's kind of working. But missing the low densities. Low densities are all working. But what do I just not have enough low density? Uh, assemblers, maybe. Maybe. Let's take a look at the production. Science. Forty a minute. Purple is just is just backed up. Yeah. Belt or board base. We had it on stream for like ten seconds. Uh, I mean, define pretty. Pretty is different for all the people. Like, for example, Wes thinks that his base is the beautiful, most beautiful one ever. Right? There is a... Different opinions can be... What about 100 SPM bases? Objectively beautiful. I guess. Maybe. Uh, I think the bases. I mean, I I think this over here 
was beautiful it started to become a little ugly when we got to the logistic boss because this over here i think is is not cool but like other than that like this starter base before we got the logistic bots like just stemming these everywhere i guess i'm not too fan of that over here we have two little spaghetti right over here is two little spaghetti so the starter starter base the first base that we had right was this part that was my first base. And this is the... Uh... This was nice. Here. Right? Yeah, I guess, uh, like, yeah, 100 by 100 base. I guess it's beautiful when you try to cramp as much as possible into the smallest amount as possible. Where is the 100 by 100? 100 by 100, Victoria. Actually, nah. I look at it again. Too little Mauro spaghetti. Too many beacons. Beacons make any base ugly. I look at this and I only see beacons. Alright, my base is going to become ugly soon too, because we're going to beacon everything too. Beacon should work like in space exploration, change my mind. I think I agree, I understand, uh, I, I never played with space exploration, but I think I agree. So the beacons, they should never intersect their areas, and the area could be bigger there. Hmm. Waste less space with spaghetti than me. This is your competition. I am designing in stages. Later blocks will have beacons. <clears throat> we'll see, we'll see. Not in this run. Um. Can't find one description you posted a long time ago. <laughs> I have to go through all of them. Too many. Many food pictures.
Let's um have another thing here. I want want them to be able to do this. All right. Every everyone except for the first. Pain will be able to rotate to the right here. Sure, why not? And then from here, I will be able to go around like that, and then, then over here. And then also over here. Nice. Um, um. Hello? I guess this is now going to be made by the... By the base bots. Okay. So like, yeah, so this train is now going to be leaving faster. Actually, you know what? I am even going. Just delete this uh, over here. Because they are going to prefer coming to this station, but I don't want them to. Let's just delete that. So this is not necessary. This also doesn't connect, so I think, yeah, this also doesn't connect. So leave. You haven't found what you was looking for, but... But... Alright, there you go. This should work. <laughs> but, but... Uh, all right. I think I think I should be ending here soon. Acting like he needs to as a bot spot. We had this a while ago, it was a lot of fun. Bot based science. A 
about a hundred SPM module. And some cats. Hmm. <clears throat> Idea was one silo in the middle and as much productivity everywhere. I see. That makes sense. That makes sense. That's probably what I'm going to, to do here actually, that I'm thinking about it. What's the speed of the uh, of this thing? We should uh, upgrade the rocket silo to the speed three, though. So, speed three, and see what's the speed of that is going to be. I mean, I guess uh, it's not hard to see. Speed one is plus twenty. This is plus fifty. Two and a half times faster it's going to be like crafting speed of 10 right hmm 10.2 I don't have this many speed module tools though right now what uh, you did was you just walked about 5 to 10 K in every direction and you found a good circulation of ore patches then build uh, the SPM near it and belt it all <laughs> if you you don't even need a good concentration of patches, right? Because, uh, like, at some point, you just, uh, yeah, you just, like, upgrade your mining productivity until one miner gives you a full belt, right? But I guess when you, when you start, you uh, stamping those you don't have the mining productivity yet three miners were able to fill the blue belt you use that you doubt it can mm, no it can it can I think you load, uh, you, you have the miner and you load directly into the splitter and then from the splitter you like do something like this and this makes it a full belt basically. Uh, something like that, right? That's how it works. I mean at least half a belt with one miner is definitely possible. But he preferred slower e extraction. Slower extraction as in more spaced out things. So like you could extract faster if you put like underground belts and shit like that here. Which means that but like 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 Valdek also was saying we can do we can do the mining in such a way that the areas don't intersect at all. Something like this. And that will last even longer.
69% artillery shell range. Okay, I guess this is a nice point for us to stop the stream here. All right. I feel like I'm doing nothing, but I mean, the progress. We have made a bunch of progress. Wait, did I launch the first rocket today? Or was it yesterday? I don't even remember anymore. I think it was the first lo uh, rocket today, and I already like launched like 10 or like 20 or something, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. Okay. It means that we did a good progress. I'm like, uh, trying to like postpone the building of the new factory until I surround the entire thing with the uh, artillery. But then in order to surround the entire thing in the artillery, I also kind of want the, the, the science, uh, the SPM to be higher. Right? I guess we can just do like more Spidertron armies. I'm right now like riding the Spidertron army myself, but I should not be doing that. I should just be sending the Spidertrons to clear the territory. I want the um, everyone to be outside of my pollution cloud and then I start a new one and then I keep like clearing the pollution cloud as it grows when my new factory is working is the idea that I have right now. We'll see how it goes for for today. This is going to be it. Thank you guys for being here, like always. Uh, let's find someone to read now. Biter battles. Your team. So this is uh before we raid see my biggest RT train. Nice. <clears throat> nice. We'll see if I will need something like that in this playthrough because I will need to kill a lot of biters for sure. Because my pollution cloud is going to grow and grow and grow and grow and grow. Two hundred wagons. Not that big, not even a thousand. Uh, all right. Let's go watch the biter battles. This is the where they play the PvP. From what I understand, they do some like research and that sends the biters to attack your your opponent. That's what I understand the biter battles are that these guys are doing. Uh but yeah, that's it for me for today. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Bye.